Hey, Dan, can I play with this bop it? Sure, Jeffy. I score five. Bop it. Ow! Twist it. Pull it. Twist it. Bop it. Ow. Give me that goddamn thing. Hey, you lost, Danny. He never said throw it. Oh, I want to kill you, Jeffy. Ah, help me! Ah, answer the door! Answer the door! Screw this! There's someone at the door, Marvin. Duh! <laughs> Hello? Please, hide me! I can't do this anymore! Hide you from who? From Goodman! I don't to work for him anymore. He treats me so badly, so I stole his car and ran away. You stole his car? Yes, so please hide me. Oh, come, come inside. Who's at the door, Marvin? This is old man. I gotta hide him. Yes, hide me, please. Who is he? Don't ask questions. Uh, hide behind here. Oh, crap, breathe. Yeah, that looks good. What's going on? Oh, oh no. That must be Goodman. Don't tell him I'm here. Uh, hello? Where is he? Where's his old ass? Who are you talking about? Don't you bullshit me, Marvin! I'm talking about Chuck! He stole my Lamborghini and parked it out front! Wait, your Lamborghini's here? Marvin, don't you bullshit me! I swear to God, you better tell me where he is or I'm gonna give you a spanking! I don't know where he's at. <laughs> Alright, Marvin, I'll give you $10,000 if you tell me where he is. He's behind the couch cushion. You don't give him goddamn 10 grand! I'm gonna go upstairs and give him a spanking with it! Hmm, I wonder where Chives is. Aha! Whenever you found me! Oh, 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 stop hitting him! You stay out of this, Marvin! This is between me and Chives! Now, Chives, bend that ass over! It's spanking time! Yes, sir. This is for running away! <laughs> this is for stealing my Lamborghini! <laughs> and this is for being old! <laughs> stop spanking him! He likes it! I don't like it, sir, and I don't like you! You're just on your butler period! Men don't get period, sir! It's 2023! Yes, they do! I don't like the way you treat me! You don't like the way I treat you? I gave you a room under the staircase like Harry Potter! Everyone likes Harry Potter! You know what? I quit! <gasps> you can't quit! You're poor! Who else is gonna hire an 80 year old man to wipe their ass? Only me! Plus, you get to shave my balls! That's an honor, Chives! I don't want to do that anymore! Well then I can't do this anymore. I can't have a butler that doesn't want to wipe my ass or shave my balls. You know what? Fine. If you want to quit, quit. But you'll never see money like this ever again! <sighs> Smells like your ass, Chives. And I'm gonna go spend it, so I never have to smell your ass ever again! That was very brave of you to stand up to Mr. Goodman like that. But now I have no job! I'll be homeless! Well, Marvin, we could use some help around the house. Really? So you'll hire me then? Well, we don't have any extra money. How much is Goodman paying you? He was paying me nothing. He just let me sleep in a broom closet underneath the stairs. Then why'd you work for him for so long? Because he paid my entire family $20 million each to never speak to me again, so I had nowhere else to go. That's so sad. Well, look, we can't really pay you right now, but we have a bed for you to sleep in. A bed? What an upgrade! I used to have to sleep in a litter box underneath the stairs, so I'll take the job. Now, let's go get those balls shaved, sir. No, you don't have to shave my balls. What? what So, do you have to take a poop soon? Shall I wipe your bum with my bare hand? No, you don't have to do that either. Well, then what am I supposed to do? Well, go do butler things. Go clean the house. <gasps> Shall I mop the floor with my tongue, sir? No, you can use a mop. <gasps> How generous! Shall I fill the bucket with my spit, or am I allowed to use water? You can use water. Wow! Hey, Danny, I found my bop it. Oh, that's what you could do. You could go play with Jeffy. I'm not sure I know what the word play means. There. We can go have fun. I don't think I know what that one means either. Well, go smile and laugh. I haven't smiled in years. Jeffy, go show him a fun time. All right, come on, old man. Okay. Okay, see, look, he can start babysitting Jeffy. Don't touch the sides. <laughs> no, I hate this game. Hey, Junior, check out my pet old man. I am not his pet. I am his butler. Hi. Hello, sir. Jeffy, you want to play Operation with me? That's lame. We can just operate on him. But I don't believe you two are qualified doctor. Shut up and lay right here. <sighs> Very well, sir. All right, Junior, take his eye. Well, not my eye. I need those to see. Ow! How about we play something else? All right, well, how about throw, throw, burrito? Well, how do you play that game? Well, we take these burritos and throw them at you. Ow! 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 Is there anything else we can play? <gasps> we can play stair tag. Ooh, is that like tag, but you can't blink? No, come here, stair tag. All right. So there's the stairs. Now tag. Ow! Ooh, ooh, uh, ooh, 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 ooh. 
<gasps> hey, Danny, I broke my new old friend. What'd you do? We were playing stair tag. What stair tag? Come on, I'll show you. Don't do it. He's going to push you down the stairs. You pushed him down the stairs, Jeffy. Jeffy, we told you not to do that to people anymore. Well, guess what? I'm going to keep fucking doing it. What, Jeffy? No. No. Stop it. Bad. What is he doing? He's smacking his diaper. But why does he have a diaper? Isn't he grown? It's in case I poop my pants. But then won't your pants get dirty? No, because I'm wearing a diaper. But your diaper's on the outside of your pants. Yeah, so it doesn't get dirty. He's not making any sense. He never does. Jeffy, just go run around. Okay. Okay, so listen, you don't have to play with him anymore. Thank God. But how about you just go make us something to eat? Ooh, shall I cook you some peppercorn for les mignon medium rare with a loaded baked potato? Ooh. No, we don't have that kind of money. How about you just make us a bologna sandwich? What is bologna? Ooh, is that peasant food? Yeah. Yes, it is. So go make us two bologna sandwiches. Very well, sir. I like having a butler. Mm-mm-mm, my -mm -mm, mystery pasta's almost done. Wait, what the hell? Wait, who's that in my kitchen? Hey, get out of my refrigerator! Not in Pippi's kitchen! Get out of here! Now, where is that baloney? Hey, bitch! Excuse me? Nah, ho, what you doing going in my refrigerator? Master Marvin told me to make him a sandwich. Nah, nah, I'm the only chef in this kitchen! This is my kitchen! This is Pippi's kitchen! Why are you barking at me? I'm just trying to make a baloney sandwich for Master Marvin, so could you please show me where the baloney is? Oh, I'll show you! The baloney right here! Oh, why did you punch me? Because you in my turn! You don't need to be going to my refrigerator without my permission! Look, I'm not looking to fight! Oh, well, I am! Ugh. Ugh. Oh, so you want to play dirty then, do you? Well, I'll show you dirty! On guard! You sure you want this shit? Are you sure you want this shit? You close to your casket, old man! Ugh. Oh, yeah, you want to play dirty, huh? Oh, you filthy whore! Ugh. Ugh. Your father was a hamster, and your mother smelt of elderberries! Don't talk about my mama like that! When I had your mama in the bed with me last night! No! Please have mercy! Oh, hell no! Nah. Hey, Marvin, here's your bitch! Yeah, he thought he was running shit, T he got ran over. So, woo! What happened? I asked him where the baloney was. What? Yes, apparently that's his turf, so he beat my ass. He does not own the kitchen. Look, can you just go down to the fridge and grab me a Lunchable? No, that's his fridge. I won't go back down there. Okay, so you can't cook. You can't play with Jeffy. I'm trying to think of something you can do. Hey, Mommy. Hey, Daddy. I took a massive dump in the toilet, and it clogged it, but I still had to keep pooping, so I took the lid off the back of the toilet and pooped in there, and then every time I flushed it, it kept putting more poop back into the toilet, and then eventually overflowed onto the floor, and I thought I was going to be helpful and get a mop and clean it up, but every time I did that, it kept smearing it and smearing it and smearing it and smearing it and smearing it, and I still had to go poop, so I pooped more in the bathtub. Oh, that's what you can do. You can go clean that mess. Oh, great. How riveting. Thank you. Someone's at the door, Marvin. I hear it. You act like I don't have ears. I heard it. Jeffy, you heard it? Mm -hmm. I heard it. Hello? Hello, Mr. Marvin. What's going on? I'm Mr. Gomez maid, but me know what to work for him no more. And I heard that you hired Mr. Chai, so I was wondering if maybe you could hire me too. Oh, no, 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 no. I didn't hire Mr. Chai. I just gave him a place to stay. Please, please, I promise that you hire me. I'll thank you like every single day. I'll thank you until my jog is tired. And even if my jog is too tired, you can still use any of my other thank you hours. Oh, no, 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 listen. Just come inside. Oh, you can do that too in any of my thank you holes. Oh, no, 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 none of that. No, no saying thank you. Just come inside and let's, let's talk to my wife. Okay. Who is at the door, Marvin? My name Patricia, but Mr. Goodman give me very many nicknames like Jimmy Changa, Quesadilla, Burrito, Taco Bell, and Stupid Ho. The list goes on and on. This is Mr. Goodman's maid. Well, what is she doing here? She wants a job because she thinks we hired chives. But Marvin, we can't pay her. Let me explain that to her. If we hire you, we won't be able to pay you money. You know I speak English, right? You don't have to speak so slow. Listen, we won't be able to pay you. We're just letting Chai stay here. That's okay. Mr. Goodman don't pay me either. Then why do you work for him? Because I'm a citizen, and Mr. Goodman threatened to have me deported unless I thank him. So, if you let me stay here, I'll thank you, like, all the time. Like, if you're stressed out, let me thank you. If you're riding in your car, let me thank you. It's your wife, no thank you? Let me thank you. 
What does thank you mean? Oh, it means I like to stop. Hey, it means she likes to say thank you. See, sometimes Mr. Goodman made me thank him so much, my throat gets very sore. Oh, from saying it over and over again? No. From the jar, welcome, Joe. Uh, listen, I feel really bad for. Maybe we should let her stay here for a few days. <gasps> You're going to let me stay? Let me thank you. No, 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 She's upstairs. She didn't thank you, did she? Because if she did, that would ruin her to me. No, but she's offered a lot. Ooh, I'm coming in! Now, where's Chimichanga? Don't look behind the couch cushion. Chimichanga not here right now. God, you're so dumb. Oh, no, you found me. Don't let me thank you. Why did you run away, Taco Salad? I thought I treated you great. You made me thank you so much. My frog is very sore. And you called me mean names. Well, I'm sorry, Nachos Belgrande. It's just so hard for me to remember your name. My name, Patricia. All right, Pico de Gallo. I'll try harder next time. Goodman, don't, don't you think if you respected your workers, they'd want to work for you? I'm rich! I don't know how poor people think. Well, maybe if you paid them, they'd want to work for you. Pay them, like, money? But then I'd have less of it! Well, listen, listen. What if I asked you to make me a sandwich? No! Okay, now what if I said I'll give you $1,000 to make me a sandwich? Yes! See? See how money made you want to do it? Huh. Yeah, money did make me want to make you a sandwich. So you're telling me that if I pay my employees, that they'll actually want to work for me? Hmm. All right. Well, I guess, Churro, I'll pay you $10 an hour. Oh! Go wait in the car. I'll be there in a minute, and then you can thank me as much as you want. See. Si. Now, where's Chives? He's cleaning the bathroom. All right, I'm going to give him some money, too. Ugh, disgusting. That was the most fecal matter I've ever seen. Hey, Chives. Oh, sir, what are you doing here? I came to give you a spanking. Ah! Ah! I'm just kidding. I've been thinking about it, Chives, and my balls need to be shaved because there's a little bit of peach fuzz on them. I told you I wouldn't do that anymore, sir. Well, I'm willing to pay you $5 an hour. <gasps> but... But sir, that's so much money! How will you afford it? I don't know. I'll probably have to sell a couple cars, or live on the side of the road, or maybe we'll even rent out your little Harry Potter closet. <gasps> Thank you so much, sir! Now let's go get those balls shaved! Alright, but you're driving because Sour Cream's gotta thank me, so come on. Very well, sir. Marvin, you did some good today. You got two people back their jobs with pay! Yeah, but no one thanked me. Well, let me thank you. <laughs> playing the t-ball championship game oh dude we're totally gonna win this yeah i didn't even know we were in a t-ball league hey guys i won't be able to play in the t-ball championship tonight why because my mommy and daddy grounded me for saying the f word but you're our best hitter yeah dude we need you <sighs> i guess we have to play without him yeah we can win without him dude come on guys all right kids this is the t-ball championship you guys win this and you guys are world champs Woo! Well, not actually world champs, not even state champs, more like county champs, actually just this one little town, but you guys will still be champs and that's all that matters, right? I can't wait, we're gonna win! I wonder who we're versing. Oh, they should be here any minute. <laughs> we here. But, uh, hi, are, are you the parents of the other team? No, we are the other team! <laughs> Y'all hear this? You guys know this is a little kid's t-ball championship, right? Yeah, and we've been champions for 15 years straight. Nobody can beat us. But are you guys 12 years old? Yeah, in our minds we are. He just just a number! What, who is he? That's Tiny Nipple Tyler. Just calm down, calm down. He can hit a home run with his eyes closed. Um, kids, can I talk to you for a second? Okay, we're screwed. We're gonna lose. What? Well, we can still win. No, these are adults. Do you not understand? Look at look at his nipples. That is a grown man's nipples. We can't beat him. Well, we can at least try. Are we gonna play or what? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We're, we're, we're gonna try. We're gonna we're gonna try to play. All right, come on in. Damn. Oh Jesus, kids. I'm sorry. Oh okay. Okay, kids. Looks like we're batting first. Who wants to get out there and embarrass themselves? I'll bat first. I'll put the team on my back. I don't care how big those 12-year-olds are. We'll still win. Yeah, we're gonna win. Kids, I'm telling you right now, those are not 12-year-olds. Those are grown-ass men who just like to beat up on little kids because it makes them feel better about themselves, okay? We're gonna lose. But, Coach, we're gonna win this for you. We're gonna win this for you. Come on, guys. Yeah, let's do it. Oh, God, help these children. All right, you ready, guys? I'm gonna send this over the fence. <sighs> 
we're gonna lose. And I don't know why there's a guy in the pitcher's mound. This is T-Ball. I don't know what the hell he's doing. Ah! Ah! Oh, I got this. Uh. Oh, out, bitch! Out! <laughs> you gotta hit it a little bit farther! A little bit farther, baby! Oh man! I thought it was gonna be a home run! Oh, sorry, coach. It's okay. They're grown-ass men. Okay, Cody, you're up next. Uh, oh, jeez. Uh, Cody, flip your bat around. Huh? Uh, oh, hey, yeah. Thank you. Oh, man. <laughs> Easy, Al! Everybody move in! <laughs> uh, could you guys move? No! Hit it! Uh, okay. Ha! Ow! Yeah! Get a step in! Get a step in! Next fuck up! Uh, sorry, coach. It's okay, Cody. There's nothing you could have done. You had a wall of grown men in your way. Okay, Junior, you're up next. Okay, guys. I got this. Here I go. Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha! <laughs> That's an out! Alright, it's our turn to bat, y'all. Let's show them how real kids bat. <laughs> Sorry, coach. Hey, you tried, and at least you hit the ball, right? Okay, now it's their turn to bat, so go out there and get slaughtered. <laughs> Say bye-bye, little baldy. <laughs> yeah. Hey, man, you know, you should probably just go easy on the kids. You know, they are kids. I still bye-bye, baldy. Get it, Joseph, get it. <laughs> oh, dude, he hit it over the fence. That's impossible. <sighs> oh, sweet Jesus, he hit a home run. <laughs> home run, suck it. Yes, suck I know. <laughs> This is bullshit! <laughs> alright, Tyler, let's show them what them tiny nipples can do. <laughs> alright, alright! Y'all ain't ready! Yeah, his nipples are very tiny. I, I don't know why that makes him good at T-ball. <laughs> get it, Joseph! Get, 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 get it! Oh, dude, they're obviously on steroids to keep hitting it over the fence! Yep, yeah, there it goes, over the fence. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I know, I see them, I see your nipples. They're very tiny. Uh oh, we got Macarena Joe in this hole! Don't do it to him! Oh! Once he gets started, he can't be stopped! Oh, oh, oh no! <laughs> do it! Do it, Macarena Joe! Hit it! Please don't hit another home run. Eh, uh, Macarena. Get him. Just get let it. it go over, dude. I lost hope. And another home run, yeah. Yeah, that is the Macarena. Mm-hmm. Mm. All right, Sabrina, no penis. Get out there. Woo! She ain't oh. got one. She oh. got one. Oh. <laughs> okay, it's a girl. Hopefully she's not as good at T-ball. Boom! Hey! Oh, that's got to hurt. But so somebody go to first. Somebody go to first. Get her. Uh, here, dude. Uh, uh. You're out! You're out! I touched the base! Yeah, I'm okay! We got an out? Oh my god, we got an out! I can't believe it! Hey, hey kids! We might not actually lose as bad as I thought! Sorry guys. It's all good, Sprint. We'll show them next time. Yeah, we got Alright, boom it's all what to do, boom it! Let's go, boom it! Okay! Oh no, not Pooby. Yes, Pooby. Make that ball your bitch, Pooby. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, 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 oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. oh, damn! Yeah. He's just breaking the equipment. Why would he do this? Oh, no, that's going to be a home run. <laughs> yeah, it is. <laughs> <laughs> yeah! I'm yeah. talking about Pooby. I'm talking about. Yeah! Yeah! That's what I'm talking oh, about, Pooby. Hold on, Thank you. Thank you very much, yeah. Okay, we're down four to zero. Come on, kids, just get two more outs. All right, Enrique, give us some more. Let's go, Enrique, Enrique, let's go. Come on, go, Yeah. Ha, Enrique, more like Enrique Gay, <laughs> right? <laughs> right, right, kids. <laughs> let's go. Let's go, Enrique. It's just me. It's just me. I got it. I got it. I can't be stopped. We actually got him out! <laughs> no, no, look, look! Oh, damn it! Ha <laughs> I suck it. Yo, it's, it's okay, Enrique. It's, it's not good. okay! It's not okay! Man, Tom, show him what them tiny nipples are about, man! I got you! I got you! Yeah. Okay, uh -huh. Oh, no. Not the tiny nipples. Tiny, 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 tiny! Yeah! No! That's that big nip energy! Nip. Big nip energy! Oh, that's definitely out of here. I got it, I got it! <sighs> wait, wait! Another out! <laughs> you guys suck! <laughs> yeah. <laughs> 
Well, kids, we're down four to zero, but it's our turn to bat, so we might still win this. No, there's no way. We're not good at batting. The only person that was good at batting is Jeffy. Well, where is he? He's grounded and couldn't play. Well, looks like we're gonna lose, kids. Ha <laughs> ha! Yeah, y'all gonna lose. Ain't no way you coming back four to zero. Ha <laughs> ha, y'all suck. <laughs> God, I hate that guy. Somebody needed me? Jeffy, you made it! Dude, he's here! Your parents ungrounded you? No, I snuck out. Woo! We might actually have a chance. Okay, you boys, get out there and try to win this. Yeah! Dad and girl. Uh, yeah, right. Whatever, Penelope. Uh, all right, ball. Say bye-bye. Damn, Jeffy crushed it. <laughs> ah, damn! So close! Yeah, way to go, Jeffy! That's my boy right there! Four to one! We can actually do this! Okay, Penelope, it's your turn to bat. I don't know what I'm doing, Dad! I know, I know. Okay, just keep your eye on the ball and swing, okay? You can do this. Okay. All right, Daddy's gonna be watching you. Dang it! Penelope, they are laughing at you out there. You are striking out in T-ball. It's right there on the goddamn tee! I don't know what I'm doing, Dad! Just, just, just hit it. Run! Run, Penelope! Run! Go! 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 Where? Look at first base! Look, he's coming! He's coming! Hurry! Ah! He, he's coming! Go! Go! He's right there, Penelope! Oh! You're out! What's that mean? It means you're out! Does that mean I get to sit down? Yes! Just go talk about periods or whatever you do! Ugh. Okay, let's go, Joseph! Oh, I got this! Yeah! Oh, yeah! Damn it! We have two outs! Who's up to bat next? Cody! Oh, we are so screwed. Okay, Cody. Okay, you can do this. Don't even think about it. You got this. I mean, he's he's right there, but but that's okay. That's okay. I can hit it over his head. Okay, yeah, I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna get a point. We're gonna get a home run, and then we're gonna win the whole game. I can do this. All right. All right, Cody. Okay. Yeah, no, that's fine. I guess I'm out. Oh, come on! You can't just do that! That's not fair! You gotta at least let him hit it first! Come on! With... Okay. Mm. Point. Yes! <laughs> okay, it's their turn to bat. Alright, kids, it's four to one. We just have to make sure they don't score any more points. Since y'all score one point, we're gonna score 50 on y'all. <laughs> don't listen to him, kids. That's impossible. Alright, Macarena Joe, no mercy on him! No mercy! Mm. Ooh! Mm. Ooh! Ooh! Dad. Don't do it to him! Oh! They might actually score 50 points. I mean, yeah, I think we're gonna call the mercy rule. Hey, we're the T-Bot champions! Yeah, yeah. 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 I, I hope you feel real good about yourselves. You're a bunch of grown-ass men. You beat a bunch of kids. Congratulations. All right, kids, huddle up. Well, you lost the T-Ball championship. But, as far as I'm concerned, you guys are winners. You scored one point against a bunch of grown adults, and that's pretty impressive. I, I don't have any trophies. I guess the, the trophies are, are in your heart. So let's all go out for pizza and ice cream. Yeah!
Jeffy. Uh, here's your breakfast. What is that, Daddy? Oh, it's corn, Oreos, and gumballs. But why, Daddy? Because you don't like eating green beans, so I thought I would change it up a bit. So I gave you corn for the healthy food, and I gave you Oreos for something fun, and then uh, gumballs for garnish. Okay, Daddy. Yeah, so eat up. You have school. Jeffy? That hurts like shit! My tooth hurts, Daddy! <laughs> Jeffy, wait, you have a cavity, Jeffy! What's your cavity, Daddy? You get it from not brushing your teeth. I've told you before, you need to brush your teeth, and since you didn't brush your teeth, now you have a cavity. Well, what's your cavity do? It means that your tooth is rotting and it's gonna hurt every time you eat. So let me call a dentist. Come on, I gotta call a dentist before you go to school. Come on. Okay, Daddy. Hey, somebody call a doctor? Well, we actually need a dentist. Uh, are you a dentist? I could be whatever you want me to be, baby. I've had a ton of jobs. Really? Like what? Uh, well, I used to be a farmer. A farmer? Yeah. Yeah, pretty much had to be, because my ex-wife was a cow. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, I, I was an astronaut, too. An astronaut? Yeah, and I pretty much had to be, because my ex-wife was so fat, she had her own gravitational pull. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Uh, I, I was a whale hunter, too. A whale hunter? Yeah, and I pretty much had to be, because every time I took my ex-wife to a buffet, I had to hunt her down and harpoon her in the ass with a fork so I could drag her away. Oh. Yeah. I, I, I was a milkman, too. A milkman? I didn't even know they had those anymore. Yeah, and I pretty much had to be, because my ex-wife was a cow. She was fat. Yeah. Yeah. Well, 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 see, I think Jeffy has a cavity, so he needs a dentist. So you think you can be a dentist? Oh, yeah, sure. And I pretty much had to be, because my ex-wife made me so mad, I pulled out all my own teeth. See? Uh. Oh, yeah, you don't have teeth. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You see, I, I did that to myself in rage. Uh, oh, well, can you see if Jeffy has a cavity or not? Yeah, sure. Aww. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's a good one. You been eating a lot of candy there, fatty? I, I'm sorry. I'm still thinking about my ex-wife. Well, do you think you could fix it? Oh, yeah, sure. Let me just get the old drill. <laughs> All right. This is going to mess him up good. Ah, I don't want that in my mouth. That's what she said. Jeffy, you have to let him fix your tooth. No, Daddy, it's gonna hurt. It's not gonna hurt. Is it gonna hurt? Oh, yeah, it's definitely gonna hurt. I'm gonna be like, ugh. And you're gonna be like, oh, no, please make him stop. And I'm gonna be like, no pain. Well, <laughs> yeah. well, you can't numb his mouth or something? No, where's the fun in that? I mean, it's his fault that he got a cavity in the first place. He should be punished. Well, 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 Jeffy, it's not gonna hurt that bad. Just, just let him fix your tooth. No, Daddy, I'm gonna keep my cavity. Me and the cavity are best friends now. Oh, he, he doesn't even seem like he wants to fix it. Well, it's not just like me with my last marriage. If he decides to stop being a puss, you call me. Well, Jeffy, you see that? Look, the dentist just left. So now you have to deal with your cavity. So I don't want to hear about it since you wanted to keep it. So look, I'm gonna go check you into school. Come on. All right, Daddy. All right, class. So apparently, Great Wall of China is so very big. You can see it from space. I can't see shit. Ha! Hey, Cody, your mom's so big you can see her from space. Good one, Junior. All right, class. Chinese space program was founded in 1865. We tried to send dog in space, but we ate it. Ha! I needed mayonnaise for my sandwich last night, Cody, but your mom ate it. The whole jar. She's fat. Yeah, I got it. So instead of rockets, we use egg roll. Hey, hey, who come in classroom late? I can't see you cause my eyes are so sad. But whoever you are, fuck you. <laughs> hey nerd, why are you late? Was your mommy breastfeeding you? No, actually your mom was. Her titties were big as shit. Wait, wait, what's that on your tooth? Is that a cavity? Yeah, it's what you get from sucking on too many titties. <laughs> well, at least I don't get cavities. Yeah, cause you don't have a mouth. Well, shut up before I come over there and give you a black eye to match your black tooth. Do it then, bitch! Hey! Hey! No talking! If I hear another word from you two, I write you up! Sorry, teacher. Wait, Jeffy, you have a cavity? Yeah, I had a cavity once. What, you did? Yeah, I got it from eating Ken's sweet ass. Speaking of Ken's ass, I want some fudge. Well, Cody, can I have that candy bar? Well, no, Junior, it's mine. But I forgot my lunch. Fine, take it. Uh, yes! Wait, 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 you buy lunch. <laughs> I got it. Hey, Junior, can I have some of that candy bar? You want some of it? No fucking shit, asshole. I just asked for some. Okay, I'll break you off a piece. Hold on. Okay. All right, Jeffy, here's half. Thanks, Junior. Ah! Fuck! Fuck this shit, tooth! Ah! Ah! Oh, it hurts! It hurts so bad! Ah! 
What was that noise? Oh, good, Junior. He didn't hear me. Jeffy! I said no talking! I'm writing you up! Go to the principal's office now! Jeffy, I can't believe you got in trouble at school today. Well, Daddy, I was eating a candy bar, and it hurt my tooth so bad, I had to say fuck. Oh, you had to say that? Yeah. Jeffy, you don't have to cuss. Cussing is bad. I told you not to cuss. And now, because of that cavity, you got in trouble at school. We should have got it fixed when the dentist was here this morning, so let me call the dentist back. No, Daddy. I'm just going to deal with it. Oh, you're going to deal with it? Yeah, because he's going to put a drill in my mouth, and I don't like it. Well, Jeffy, that's the only way he can fix this by drilling your tooth. So do you want me to call him or not? Nope. I'll just deal with it, Daddy. Oh, you're going to deal with it? Yep. Okay, well, I guess I'm just going to sit here and watch TV. <gasps> and what, what is that? Is this my favorite snack? Oh, uh, it's Skittles. Oh, man, I, I love Skittles so much. They're all mine. Oh, man. Hey, um, Daddy. Can I get a Skittle? Oh, you want one? Uh-huh. Oh, but Jeffy, it's going to hurt your tooth because you have a cavity. These are really hard candies. It's not going to hurt, Daddy. Oh, it's not going to hurt? Mm -mm. Oh, yeah, sure. Grab one, Jeffy. Oh, fuck! Fuck! Yeah, yeah. Ow. Did it hurt, Jeffy? Yeah! The, 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 the damn orange one! Let me try the, uh, the red one. The, the, the color's not... Ow! Cock! Cock-a-doodle-doo! -do! Cock-a-doodle-doo! -do! Fuck! Wait. Ow! Je 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 Jeffy, ah. the, the color is not gonna change it. They're all gonna make it hurt. What about the green one, Daddy? It's gonna hurt the same way, because it's... Ow! Ow! Cockroach! Cockroach ass! Damn it! Ow! Jeffy, all of them are gonna do the same thing. They're all hard candies, Jeffy. Well, I'm gonna go to my room! Well, no! Let me just call a dentist, Jeffy. Just let me call. You know what? I'm still gonna call a dentist. I, I, I don't have time for this. I don't have time for this. Hey there. Did your son finally decide to man up? <laughs> I am ready. No, but we still need to fix that cavity because the cavity is causing a lot of problems. Today, Jeffy got in trouble at school because he bit into a candy bar and the cavity hurt so bad he started cussing. So we really need to fix that cavity. We need to fix it without him knowing. How am I gonna do that? Well, can't you like knock him out with like anesthesia? You're a doctor. But no, I I lost my medical license. You lost your medical license? Why? Well, I gave a whole bunch of anesthesia to my son's goldfish so that he would think they were dead. Why would you do that? Because I bet him $10 that he couldn't keep the goldfish alive for a whole week, and it's coming up on day six, and I just really don't want him to win. I'm a really sore loser. Well, is there another way we can knock Jeffy out? Like, any other way? I don't know. What do you mean, like hitting him with a baseball bat? Uh, I mean, w w would that work? I mean, maybe, but it might give him brain damage. Well, have you seen him? That, that, that doesn't matter. So, so if I hit him with a baseball bat and knock him out, you can fix his tooth while he's knocked out. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I guess I could give it a shot. Sure. Uh, all right, I'm gonna go knock him out and bring him in here, and you're gonna fix his tooth, okay? Yeah, all right. All right. Uh, hey, hey, wait a second. Uh, what? What? You, you, want, you want me to pierce your ears with a drill? You know, just... Uh, oh, you could look like one of those freaks from Hot Topic. You know, that have, like, the big hoops in their ears. You, you, you want me to do that? No. I, I, could, I could do it. No, no, I'll be right back with Jeffy. My two turns, it's our cast. Hey, Jeffy. Hey, Danny, what do you want? Uh, I just came to read you a bedtime. Oh, <gasps> Jeffy, what's that on the wall over there? What? <laughs> Ow! What the fuck, Danny? Ow! Bitch, stop! <sighs> okay. Uh. Ugh. Ugh. Oh, Danny, what happened? Well, Jeffy, I had to knock you out with a baseball bat so the dentist could fix your tooth. Look, your cavity's gone. <gasps> no more cavity? No more cavity, so now you can eat and do whatever you want, and your tooth's not going to hurt. Oh, but I really do have a bad headache. Well, that's because I hit you in the head with a baseball bat. So the lesson of this video, kids, is brush your teeth. Make sure you brush your teeth so you don't get cavities. And you don't suck on titties too long. Jeffy, you have a cavity? Yeah. Well, how'd you get that? Oh, the titties. <laughs> I had a cavity once. Got it from eating Ken's ass. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, it kind of fucked up. It was a long pause. <laughs> he was like, I had a cavity once. Wait, you did? Yeah, I got it from eating Ken's sweet ass. Yeah, actually, speaking of Ken's ass, I want some fudge. He dropped it. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, Jeffy, you have a cavity? Yeah. I had a cavity once. Didn't I, Junior? <laughs> uh, no, he, he's still scared. Pussy. But, uh, here, look, he's still... He, I was just... Go. Hey there, you fun... Fucking... Go. Hey there! Just, I, my nose... Why would you do that? Well, because I bet him $10 that he couldn't keep his fish alive for a whole week, and it's coming up on day six, and I, I just really don't want him to win. I'm a sore winner. 
Loser. He's. I'm. I'm an idiot, is what I am. <laughs> so we're a winner. <laughs> so we're I hate winning. <laughs> Fuck it. Hate winning. Fucking hate winning. Well, I gave a whole bunch of anesthesia to my son's goldfish, so he would think they were dead. Well, why would you do that? Well, I bet him ten dollars that he couldn't go the whole week keeping his goldfish alive. And so it's coming up on week six, and I week six. Week. <laughs> what the fuck is wrong with me? He doesn't lie. He's like, I'm, I've already lost. <laughs> <laughs> For every week, he keeps it alive. He really wants his money. Then I just want to kill his fish so he forgets. I gave him a ring check on that. <laughs> every week, he keeps him alive. He remembers. <laughs> Football schedule. Guys, it's been over a month. <laughs> I'm gonna die of old age at this rate. <laughs> uh, I don't know. All right, guys, it's time for Patreon shoutouts. The first shout out goes to Henry the RC Car. He's a Patreon supporter and he has a really cool channel about RC car and he drives around and <laughs> And he has a computer assistant named Cody who helps him get out of trouble when he's driving around all over town. So go check out his channel, guys. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Hey, Nanny, what do you call a nose that's 12 inches long? What? A foot. <laughs> Very funny, Jeffy. Dang, can you go in your store and buy me a Ruma Cube? What? A Ruma Cube. Are you saying Rubik's Cube? No, a Ruma Cube. Jeffy, it's pronounced Rubik's Cube. No, it's a Ruma Cube. Marvin, you know what he means. Stop agitating him. I want him to say it right. Rubik's Cube. Ruma Cube. I'm not going to buy it for you unless you say it right. It's a Ruma Cube. Go buy me a Ruma Cube. Marvin, just go to the store and get it for him. Okay, fine, Jeffy. I'm going to go buy you a Rubik's Cube. Ruma Cube. Okay, there's the Rubik's Cube that Jeffy wanted. All right, Jeffy, here's your Rubik's Cube. Hey, that's not a Ruma Cube! That's not what I wanted! Yes, it is, Jeffy! That's a Rubik's Cube! You're just saying it wrong! I never said I wanted a Rubik's Cube! I want Ruma Cube! Aw, Marvin, he said Rubik's Cube right! Wait, so you're not saying Rubik's Cube? No, I want a Ruma Cube! What the hell is a Ruma Cube? You don't know what Ruma Cube is? No, I'm gonna take you to the store so you can show me! Great! All right, Jeffy, show me. Show me what it is that you wanted. Right here, Daddy. Ruma Cube. Ruma Cube. I thought you were saying Rubik's Cube wrong. Why, Daddy? Because I'm slow? Yes. <laughs> so, Jeffy, that's what you wanted, right? Yep. Do you even know what it is? Yeah, it's the original Ruma Cube. Brings people together. Classic. Okay, Jeffy, if I get this for you, you're not getting anything else, okay? All right, Daddy. <sighs> All right, Jeffy, let's go. More right. Squishy AF. Dang, dang, dang! What, Jeffy? Can I have one of these? No, I'm already getting you the Ruma Cube. Well, I want both. Choose one, Jeffy. Ruma Cube or whatever that is. Ruma Cube. All right, come on, let's go. What is that, Marvin? Ruma Cube. You mean there's something actually called Ruma Cube? I've never heard of it in my entire life. See, I told you guys I wasn't saying Rubik's Cube. Jeffy, did you gain some weight? B says what? I know you ain't talking about my fupa with your ass. Jeffy, it does look like you're getting fatter. It's called a thyroid problem, okay? I'm going through a little bit of a hormonal change, and so it's causing me to gain weight. Or maybe I'm pregnant from when you screwed me in the store and said I couldn't get a second toy. Jeffy, language. I'm sorry, mother. I'm just going through all these hormones as a teenager and it is making me gain weight and I'm a little bit sensitive about it. Jeffy, do you have something in your shirt? Strong, maybe. Let me see. Oh, yeah? Birth? Huh? Jeffy, did you steal this from Target? No, nope. it jumped in my shirt and ran away. So you stole it? No, Daddy, you bought me that forever ago. Baby, did we buy this from a long time ago? I don't know, Marvin. He has so many toys. And you have a lot of toys, too, Mommy. I heard you playing with Buzz Lightyear and Woody the other day because I kept hearing Buzz Lightyear go, Bzzz. I don't know. Okay, Jeffy, so you promised me you didn't steal this. Strong, maybe. Jeffy? Um, no, I didn't steal it. You bought me that forever ago. Okay, are you ready to play Ruma Cube? Honestly, Daddy, I don't know what Ruma Cube is. I just heard someone talk about it the other day. I said, I want that. And now that I see it, I don't want that. I'm actually going to go chill on this in my room. Baby, do you want to play Ruma Cube? Okay, Marvin. Uh, squishy AF. Mm, 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 mm. I'm so glad I stole it. Ah! It's so squishy and soft. Oh, lay on it. Oh, this would be so amazing if I could have my entire bed covered in these. Oh, 
if I could go back to the store and get enough of them to cover my entire bed, that would be so pee pee. Daddy, we gotta go back to the store. So baby, how do we play this game? I don't know, Marvin. I just followed the pictures. Dang, dang, dang! We have to go back to Target right now. Why? We uh, we 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 don't have Cheerios. Yes, we do downstairs. No, we don't. Yes, we do. Nope. Je come on. Nope. I'll show you, Jeffy. Nope. Come, come on. Look, Jeffy. There's Cheerios right there. That box is empty. No, it's not. Check. It's barely full. No, Jeffy. There's so many Cheerios in there. Well, those are stale. No, they're not. Just eat them. What? What? Jeffy, what are you doing? Whoops. No. It I need to go to Target. Oh, all right, Jeffy, we'll go get your new Cheerios. Come on. No, Jeffy, no. We're going to the cereal aisle. No toys. All right, Danny. Give me one second. Hmm, what kind of Cheerios does Jeffy like? All right, Daddy, I'm ready to go. What kind of Cheerios do you like, Jeffy? Oh, um, it doesn't matter. I'm ready to go. Okay, I'll just grab these. All right. All right, Jeffy, there's your Cheerios. Go eat them. I'm not really hungry right now, Daddy. I'm actually kind of full. What? Jeffy, do you have something under your shirt again? No, this is my belly. I just didn't shave today. Oh, birth. Jeffy, did you steal this one? Daddy, I am not a thief, and I'm getting tired of you accusing me of stealing things. You bought me this forever ago. Then why was it under your shirt? Because I like the way it feels on my nipples. There, I said it. Is that what you wanted to hear, Daddy? My potty mouth? It just seems weird that it keeps being under your shirt. Well, leave me be. Something weird's going on. Where is it? <laughs> Squishy! Oh, this is the life. Now, if I could just get like one, two, three, fifty more, then that would be complete. My entire collection on my bed. But I can't fit fifty of them underneath my shirt. I can only fit one at a time. So I have to take a lot more trips back to Target. Daddy! Daddy! Smell my breath. Oh, Jesus Christ, Jeffy, why is your breath like shit? Don't tell anyone, Danny, but I got a chocolate factory in my pants and it just keeps producing chocolate. Yummy. You've been eating your own poop, Jeffy? Oh, yeah. Oh, my God, you have to go brush your teeth, Jeffy. Well, I would brush my teeth, Danny, but I don't have any toothpaste. You have toothpaste it's in the bathroom. Well, I took that toothpaste and I squeezed it all in the toilet. Why? Because the toilet smelled bad and I was trying to clean it and I wanted it to smell like mint. You did not do that, Jeffy. I did, Daddy. I'm a stinker. Oh, my God, I'm going to go check. Jeffy! Huh? You really poured all the toothpaste in the toilet? Yeah, that or we got a Smurf shitting in our toilets. But you might want to call the police if that's the case. Now we're all out of toothpaste. Darn, looks like we need to go to Target. Oh, come on, Jeffy. <coughs> no, Jeffy, no toys. We're only here for toothpaste. Okay, Danny, I'll meet you over there in a minute. Hey, you like Squishmallows, huh? Mm-hmm. Yep. I see you lifting your shirt up. Uh, you trying to rub your wiener on it? Because uh, between me and you, it feels pretty good. But anyway, yeah, these things are really popular. I mean, they sound like hotcakes. We just can't keep them on the shelf. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay, well, you have a good day. All right, Jeffy, here's your toothpaste. Go brush your teeth. All right, I'll get right on that. Jeffy, what is that? It's my big rainbow winner. No, Jeffy, it's one of those stuffed animal things. Don't do that, Daddy. It might spit. Jeffy! Jeffy, did you steal this from the store? No, Daddy, it's my package. I was born with it. I'm a shower, not a grower. Jeffy, you keep coming up with new ones. Where are you getting these from? These are mine that I've always had. You bought all of these for me forever ago. Jeffy, go brush your teeth. All right, Daddy. No, you gotta grab the toothpaste, Jeffy. I'll use the toothpaste that's in the toilet. Yeah, hell yeah. Now we're cooking. Squish, squish, squish. This is actually gonna take a while. Montage time. Danny, we ran out of toilet paper. Target. Daddy, Target. I did it. My whole bed's covered in squish meadows. Oh man, baby, I'm so tired. I'm sure, Marvin. You've been to Target like 30 times tonight. Well, Jeffy kept asking for stuff. I know, Marvin. Just make a list before you go next time. Hey! What? Oh, but Target guy, what are you doing here? Yeah, that's me. I'm mad. How long were you here for? Long enough. Where's your son? I need to talk to him. He's in his room, I think. Well, he's about to be in jail because he's been shoplifting from my Target. What shoplifting? What did he shoplift? We had an entire aisle of Squishmallows, and I thought they were selling like hotcakes. And then I go to look at the sales record, and it turns out we haven't sold any at all because your son has been stuffing them in his shirt and walking out the door. I knew he was doing that. Oh, so you knew he was doing that? That's why you kept bringing him back to Target? What? No, he was distracting me by asking for single items at a time. Okay, yeah, well, your son's going to jail now. Oh, oh. 
Don't he, you don't have to arrest them. How about I just pay for them? Okay, yeah, that'll be a thousand dollars. A thousand dollars for stuffed animals? Well, look, man, I don't make the trends. In the '80s, it was Beanie Babies. In the '90s, it was Furbies. Now it's Squishmallows. It's what people want. Well, I'm not gonna pay a thousand dollars for stuffed animals. Well, we also accept ducks. We accept ducks and we accept goats. You can pay in livestock. We use the barter system at Target. What? I can pay with live animals? Yeah, if you get live animals, you can pay with that. They, they actually do that at Target. Look it up. You can actually pay with live animals at Target. Go ahead. I'll give you a second to Google it. You idiot! Why would you actually believe that? Have you ever seen a duck at Target? No. Where would they even put them? Come on. Come on. Do better. I mean, think about that. That's stupid, right? If you fell for that, subscribe. If you didn't fall for it, like. Actually, you know what? Go ahead and do both. It's, it's January. We're starving over here. So, uh, listen, how about we just return them? Well, no, 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 that's, that's not going to work. See, people do unspeakable things to Squishmallows. Like, they, they rub their wiener on them. Not, not me. Like, I would, I would never do that. But, like, people who have done it say that it feels really good. But I, I wouldn't know because I, I, haven't, I haven't done that. So, like, you can't return them, though, because nobody wants a wiener mellow. Okay, listen, I'm sure Jeffy hasn't done that to him yet. So how about we go check them? Mm, okay, we can check them. But I'm going to smell them, and if I smell wiener, you owe me $1,000. Uh, okay. What? Look at all these Squishmallows! Oh god, I'm so mad. I mean, I knew he stole them, but see him all here like this? God, it makes me so mad. Why does your face look like that? Because I'm mad! This is my mad face I make when I'm really mad. Jeffy, where are you? Where are her? Jeffy, did you steal all these Squishmallows? Mm-mm. Liar! I see them all right here! Jeffy, we know you stole them. Why'd you steal them? Because I wanted them. <sighs> Can you smell them to make sure they don't smell like wiener? Oh, yeah. No wiener. Okay, no wiener. Wiener and poo poo, and I see the poo poo right here. Jeffy, did you wipe your butt with this? Oh! Why? Because it felt good on my ass crack. Jeffy, you're supposed to use toilet paper. Well, this is better than toilet paper. Have you ever seen those toilet paper commercials? They're called Charmin, and it's a big bear, and he has crusty crumbs on his butthole. Oh, yeah, I've seen those. Those are weird. Like, the papa bear's got a poopy butthole, so the baby bear has to be like, hey, you idiot, use Charmin instead, so the papa bear can wipe his butt good. It's weird. Okay, so all the other ones don't smell like wiener, right? No, I think they're fine. They even got the tags on them. So the only one I have to pay for is this one. How much is this one? It's like 40 bucks or one pigeon. I don't have live animals to pay with. All right, 40 bucks it is then. Okay, so I'll pay you the 40 bucks for this one. Now I just need to give your son a stern talking to about stealing. Hey, stealing is wrong. You know, if you steal again, we're going to cut your hand off like they almost did in Aladdin. You got it? Yeah. That's right. All right, now load these into my car. My wiener is so itchy. All right, Jeffy, let's start loading these in the car. Did you learn your lesson today? Um, I think so? What was it? Um, don't steal and only use these to wipe your butt. No. I'll ask you a question, and the first student to get the answer right will get a Hershey kiss. Ugh, when I saw the board say kiss quiz, I thought we were going to practice making out with each other. And Junior was going to be my partner. No, my partner was going to be Penelope. No way, Junior. Dude, we're always partners. What are you talking about? I want to kiss Penelope. Guys, it's not even about kissing. Well, I bet I can answer more questions than you, Penelope. No way, four eyes. Well, you also wear glasses. Shut up, Cross. All right, first question. Who invented the telephone? Alexander Graham Bell. God damn it. Ha! Correct, Penelope. Here's your kiss. I got the first kiss, Cody. Yeah, well, I'm gonna get the next one. All right, next question, Crass. How many stars are on the original American flag? Thirteen, bitch. Ha <laughs> ha. Correct, Cody. Here's your kiss. <laughs> Ooh, look at my kiss. Oh, let me get in there. Oh. All right, next question. What was Abraham Lincoln's nickname? Oh, I got this. The Free the Slave Man. No. Honest Abe. That was George Washington. No, that's Honest George. Oh, uh, no, you're thinking of Curious George. Correct, Junior. Here's your kiss. Ooh, a kiss. All right, next question. Man, I have so many kisses. Well, I have more kisses, and some of mine had nuts in them. Mine have nuts, too. Well, I don't have any nuts in mine. Wait a minute. This isn't fair, teacher. I haven't gotten any kisses. All right, Jeffy. Since you don't have a kiss yet, I'll give you a chance to win the last one. And this question is only for you, so you're the only one allowed to answer it. What year did the War of 1812 happen? Now, this is a trick question. What year did the War of 1812 happen? 1812, take away the 4, add a 6, 2004! Screw it, here you go. Yummy! Alright, Crass, that does it for today. Go home and enjoy your kisses. Hey, darling, 
Hey, Jeffy, how was school? It was great, Daddy. The teacher gave me a kiss right here. What? Yeah, I answered the question right, so he gave me a kiss right here. Marvin, we have to call the cops. Well, hold on, Jeffy. This is a very serious crime you're accusing your teacher of. Are you sure he gave you a kiss? Yeah, he gave me a kiss and he gave everyone else in the class a kiss when they answered the question right. Are there any girls in your class, Jeffy? Yeah, Mommy. This one girl got a bunch of kisses from the teacher. Martin! I'm calling the cops right now. Hold on. Hey there. Somebody call the whoop, whoop. That's the sound of the police. We did. Oh, good. So what's going on? Well, we want to report a very serious crime. Oh, no. Is somebody giving away toasters for outrageously low prices? No. Oh, well, my wife says we need a toaster, and I thought maybe you would know where I could get a cheap toaster. Well, my son came home from school today, and he says that his teacher gave him a kiss in his private area. Whoa, whoa, kid, is this true? Yeah, he gave me a kiss right here. Oh, my God, we are dealing with a very serious predator here. Are, are, are you sure? Yeah, I'm positive. He gave everyone in the class kisses. Oh, oh, my God. Okay, wait, wait, wait a minute. Aren't you in the same class as my daughter? Who's your daughter? Penelope? Oh, yeah, she got the most kisses with nuts. Oh, oh, Jesus, oh. God, no, my poor baby. Uh, it's, it's gonna be okay. Oh, I, I have to go call her. I have to call her. What do you want, Dad? Okay, Penelope, this is very important. Did your teacher give you a kiss in class today? Yeah, he gave me a bunch of them. Oh, oh, God, no, it's true. Oh, okay, that's it. I'm gonna go arrest him right now. Order, 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 order. Today, order. We will be hearing the case of the school teacher, Jackie Chu, who is accused of giving kisses to his students. Ugh. Prosecutor, tell me what's going on. Order. Well, Your Honor, I'm here today representing all of the kids who got a kiss from the teacher. My daughter is one of them. Penelope, tell the judge what happened to you. Um, well, today in class we had a kiss quiz, and every time we answered a question right, the teacher would give us kisses, oh. and sometimes they had nuts. Oh, oh, God, my poor baby! Oh, oh, oh Jesus. Oh. Mr. Chu, you are being accused of a most heinous crime. Is any of this accurate to what actually happened? Yes, it is all true. We had a quiz, and if the student answers the question right, I give them a kiss, and sometimes with nuts. You're a monster! Order, 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 order in my court, order! Mr. Chu, you are a very sick man. Now tell me, how many students did he give kisses to? Well, Your Honor, five students so far that we know of! That is a lot of children. Mr. Chu, what made you think it was appropriate to do such a thing to children, causing them years of psychological harm? I thought I would give them an incentive to want to learn, because every time they got the question right, they'd be like, Jackie Chu, give me a kiss, give me a kiss. So I kept giving out kisses, and then sometimes they'd say, give me some with nuts. So then I'd give kisses with nuts in it, and so I just kept giving kisses and nuts. As your attorney, I would advise you to stop talking. Mr. Chu, I am sensing no remorse for your actions. Just handing out kisses as if they were candy. Exactly. Uh, Your Honor, may I have a moment with my client, please? Now listen here, you practically just admitted guilt. We're screwed. But I didn't do anything wrong. All I did was give the kids kisses. The kids like the kisses. Oh, I never should have become a public defender. Mr. Chu, I already know you're guilty. Now I just need to know how guilty. Prosecutor, send in another one of the victims. Uh, Cody, can you come in here, please? Yeah, what's up? Uh, the judge wants to ask you a few questions. Now, young man, how many kisses did you receive from Mr. Chu? Oh, I received a lot of kisses, but that's because I'm smart. I received more kisses than you, Cody. Yeah, well, that's probably because you're a girl and he felt bad for you. Nuh-uh, and at least mine had more nuts. Oh, no, I definitely had more nuts. No, you didn't. Oh, God. Order, 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 order. Mr. Chu, I know this is going to be very graphic to ask, but how did you select which students received nuts with their kiss? It was random, whatever my hand decided to pull out. Oh, Jesus Christ. Mr. Chu, I am already planning on giving you the death penalty, but just to be sure beyond a reasonable doubt, Prosecutor, send in one more victim. Jeffy, can you come in here, please? 
Hey everybody, what doing? Now, Jeffy, is it true that you received a kiss from Mr. Chu? I did. And how many kisses did you receive? Just one. Hmm, now that's interesting. Penelope, you received multiple kisses, right? Yeah. And Cody, you received multiple kisses? Yeah. But Jeffy, you only received one kiss. Yeah, I think it was a pity kiss because everyone else is smarter than me, and so they were just getting more and more kisses, and so I think the teacher felt bad, so he gave me a kiss. Mr. Chu, we have now heard from three of your victims. Do you feel bad at all for what you've done? No, I don't regret anything. I've been giving the kids in my classes kisses for years. The kids love the kisses. They especially love the kisses with the nuts in it. Big nut kiss. I quit. That's it, Your Honor. Fry this son of a bitch. I don't know what I did wrong. Mr. Chu, you are clearly unable to tell right from wrong since you do not see what you did wrong, and that makes you a danger to society. Prosecutor, let me hear your closing statements before I bang this gavel as hard as I can and yell guilty at the top of my lungs. Your Honor, I'm a father. Not a very good one, but I am a father. So today when my daughter came home from school and said, Daddy, Daddy, I got the most kisses from the teacher. I just couldn't believe it. Well, I don't think that's true. I think I actually get the most kisses. Shut up, Cody! It's not a contest, kids. What happened to you today was wrong. That man is sick. Well, I mean, I guess it wasn't good to have that many kisses before lunch. I thought they were sweet, and at least nuts had protein. Oh, Jesus. Your Honor, we're dealing with some serious Ted Bundy shit. This man is sick, and the fact that he's been doing it for this many years and the kids are just now coming forward, there's no telling how many lives he's ruined. Your Honor, I'm begging you, bang that gavel, bang the shit out of that gavel, and send this man to the electric chair where he belongs. I have had enough! Guilty! Guilty! Mr. Chu, guilty! That is what you are! I sentence you to death by electric chair! No, by two electric chairs! No, by an entire electric bed! With an electric toothbrush! Before you go to the electric bed! And then electric pillows, and electric sheets, and an electric bedtime story! Yes! You will be killed by electric bed and bedtime story tomorrow at midnight. Pay-per-view, $49.95. Then all of the money will go to the victims' families. Guilty. Yes, justice. Honey, we got justice. What the hell is happening? Why is he going to die for giving us kisses? You're too young to understand, but someday you will. Come on, kids. Oh, no. Come on, you, you monster. Isn't this silly, folks? I was just the lawyer, and now I'm the bailiff. Isn't TV silly? Come on, let's get you to your cell. All right, class, my name is Brooklyn Guy. I'm going to be a new teacher since your last teacher was a monster, and now he's going to die. So I'm going to be teaching you until we can find a better replacement. Are you going to give us kisses when we get questions right? No, 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 kids. What he did to you was wrong, okay? There's not going to be any more kisses. You kids are going to need therapy to get over that. But I see some kisses on the desk right there. What are you talking about? What? Uh, huh. Um, Hershey's kisses? Almond? Oh, no. Oh, no. Okay, okay, class, was your teacher giving you these kisses or kisses with his mouth? The candy, Dad. Yeah, the candy. Yeah, I wish it was with his mouth. Oh, dear God, kids. We're about to kill an innocent man. Uh, I have to go. Any last words before we fry up? I didn't know it was wrong to give kids kisses. Wait, 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 wait. Don't, don't pull it, don't pull it. Uh, Mr. Chu, I have a question for you. What kind of kisses were you giving the students? Sometimes they had nuts, and sometimes they didn't have nuts. No, no, I know that, but, like, what did the kisses look like? They were little chocolate candies with aluminum foil wrapped around them. Oh, my God. Oh, get him out of there. I'm an idiot. Charlie and Friends was filmed in front of a live audience. Part of me, baby. Meow. Oh, hi guys. I'm Chef Charlie. 
And today, I have a special dish for you. It's spaghetti and meatball. Magnifique. Mm. And I'm going to eat it for you today. But, wait, I don't have a spoon. Oh, well, I can still eat it. <laughs> Oh, and now I'm gonna eat a hot chili pepper. I wonder if it's spicy. That food looks mighty delicious. Oh, it looks so good. I need to tell Chef Pee to cook me something. Oh, I need something that good. <laughs> oh, it's so gross. It smells like my ex-girlfriend's panties. Hey, Chef Pee What, Bowser? Chef Pee I'm really hungry, and I need a big meal. I'm talking pizza, lasagna, spaghetti. Um, but Bowser, I'm already cooking dinner tonight. I'm cooking fish. Uh, yeah, I'll eat fish too. Yeah, I want a buffet, Chef PB. I mean, if you cook everything I ask you, I'll give you $500. $500? Of course I'll do it, Bowser. I'll, I'll make this and everything you ask for immediately. Just don't, don't worry about it. I'll cook it right now. Just go and, go and sit down somewhere, okay? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, $500. I'm gonna be in my room watching Charlie and Friends. So you just make sure you cook my food perfectly. It has to be perfect in order for you to get the $500. <sighs> mm. Jeffy, stop it. Where, where, you, where you get a catapult, Jeffy? I found it. You didn't find that, Jeffy. Stop hitting me with the balls. <laughs> Jeffy! Oh my god, that's it. I'm taking it away. <laughs> no, Dad, don't take away my toy. Oh, but, who's, uh, just stay right here, Jeffy. I don't know who that is. Uh, hello? Hey Mario, let's go. What? G go where? You have a meeting tonight with Nintendo! Well, I, I didn't know that. Well, now you know! So get your ass in the car! Well, is, is there any way we can reschedule? This is short notice. You must hate money then, Mario, because you're getting paid $5,000 for this meeting tonight. We're going over big stuff, Mario, uh, so you better get your overall wearing ass in my car in 60 seconds, or your ass is fired! Oh, okay, is there any way you can give me like five minutes to get a babysitter? No! You'll get 60 seconds! Okay, I can get a babysitter. TikTok, Mario! TikTok! Okay, I'll get in there, I'll get in there, six seconds. <laughs> $500, $500, I'm about to be rich! Chef Bibi, Chef Bibi, Chef Bibi. What, Mario? I am busy right now. Uh, I, I need your help, I really need your help. Uh-oh, can't help you right now, I am in the middle of cooking. Uh, well, well I, I really need you to do something for me, Chef Bibi. I need you to babysit Jeffy. Wait, babysit? No, 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 Mario, I'm not babysitting, I'm cooking right now, I'm busy with cooking. I have a big meal that I have to prepare. Well, 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 I, I, I don't have anyone else to babysit. Well, that sucks for you. Look, I have money on the line. I have to cook this food, Mario. Well, how much money? Well, it's five hundred dollars on the line. I'm about to be rich. Uh, all right, Chef Pee What if I gave you five hundred dollars to babysit Jeffy? Wait, another five hundred dollars? Wait, that's a thousand dollars! Oh my God, a thousand dollars! So, so, could you do it? Could you do it? Yeah, 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 yeah. Go and bring the little brat in the kitchen. Look, I'll watch him while I cook. He can help me cook. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, all right, all right. I'll tell him to come in here. I'll tell him to come in here. Thank you so much. Hurry up, Mario! Seconds. Seconds. Uh, Jeffy, uh, go to the kitchen and help Chef Pee Pee. Yeah, I said so, Jeffy. Five hundred dollars? I'm about to be rich. Oh, ooh, let me put this pizza in the oven. What doing? Oh, hey, Jeffy, you're being a good boy, right? Oh, oh, I see you got your cat piano. Well, I'm gonna keep on cooking, okay? You just be a good boy and play with your piano. Really, nigga? Okay, Jeffy, that's enough. You, you can stop playing with your toy, okay? How about you help me cook in the kitchen? Help you cook in the kitchen? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm about to fly, fry the fish, so uh, how about you get the flour for me? A flour? Oh, I can do that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Get the flour for me, Jeffy. Good boy. Hey, I got your flour. Oh, thanks, Jeffy. You idiot! I'm not talking an actual flour. I'm talking about the white powdery stuff. Oh, cocaine. What? No, no! I'm talking about in the container, it's in the pantry! Just go and get it! Please! Okay. Idiot! Huh. Which 
one isn't. Um, 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 Chef Pee Pee Shunk, which one of these is the flower? The one that says flower on it, Teffy. Um, I don't see one that says flower. There's one that says floor. What? Yeah, it says floor. Well, bring me that one, Teffy. You want me to throw it on the floor? What? Yeah, do you want me to throw it on the floor? No, just throw it to me, Teffy. Throw it to me. All right. Oh, such an idiot. Okay, I got it. Oh, okay, Jeffy. Bring it over here to me. I have to cook with it, okay? Whoops. Jeffy, what the hell? Why don't you sit there and make a big mess like that on the floor? Because it's cold floor. It's a cold floor, Jeffy. It's flour. You're supposed to cook with it. No, this is a flour. Oh, my God. He's such a fucking idiot. Look, look. Something simple, Jeffy. How about you just give me some milk out of the refrigerator, okay? The milk? Yes, the milk. Okay, I got it. God, finally something. Milk, milk. Oh, milk. Here's the milk. All right, Jeffy, just sit it down oh. over there. What the hell, Jeffy? Why'd you make a mess like that? Just throw the milk. Sorry, it slipped. Oh, Jeffy, look at this mess. Now we gotta go buy some more milk. Oh, get in the car. Excuse me, sir, where's the milk? In the back. Oh, okay, thank you. Hey. Oh, where's the milk? Where's the milk? I found the milk, Jeffy. Ooh, ooh, great, Jeffy. Uh, just hurry up and get the milk, okay? Which one do you want? Uh, the one with the red label. This one? No, that's blue, Jeffy. Oh, Jeffy, be catch. What? What? No, 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 Jeffy. Damn it, Jeffy! Why'd you make a mess in the store? Whoops! And slept. Okay, sir, this is all. What, why is he doing that? Because oh, it feels good on my pink pink. <sighs> Look, he spilled the milk carton on the back owl. Uh, could you check it out for me? Show me where it is. Okay, it's back here. Uh, it's right here, sir. Get out. <gasps> Jeffy, why would you make a mess like that in the store? It just keeps slipping. It is not slipping. You're throwing it. Well, what do you want me to help with next? <sighs> nothing, Jeffy, nothing. Look, look, I got this from the store for you. Oh, what is that? Is it a dick jacket? What? No, no, it's a balloon, you idiot. You blow in it. Oh, so I give it a blow job. <sighs> sure, sure, whatever. Look, just go and have fun, okay? Well, Mr. Chef Pee Pee, um, I don't know how to do it. Well, well, figure it out. I don't, I'm not gonna help you, Jeffy. Look, I gotta cook. $500. Okay, the pizza's in the oven and the flour's on the fish. Oh, I can smell that money in my face right now. Ooh, well, let me spread this flour out real quick. Um, pee pee hair? I filled up the balloon. Oh, okay, Jeffy, that's nice. This is good to hear, okay? Um, what do you want me to do it now? I don't know. Pop it or something. I'm cooking. Pop it? Well, do whatever you want to, Jeffy. Look, don't bother me. I'm cooking. Okay. Oh, God, it's so horrible. Ah! God damn it, Jeffy! Why? It's all over me now! Oh! You right fucking now! It's so gross! That five hundred dollars is not worth it, Jeffy. Oh, uh, Chef Pee Pee, I'm back. Oh, 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 Mario, you're back so soon, buddy. What are you doing? Uh, I, I just got back from my meeting. It was cut short, but it went great. Oh, that's nice to hear. I'm so glad. I'm happy for you. Ooh, what happened here? Look at this mess. Um, you can just say things slip, uh, but as long as you got my money, everything's okay. I mean, I have your five hundred dollars right here. Oh my God! Five hundred dollars! Oh. It's Jeffy, so fresh. Jeffy, were you a good boy? Uh huh. Uh, Chevy, was Jeffy a good boy? Mm -hmm. Uh oh, he was. Oh, good boy, Jeffy. I'm gonna get you a prize. Come on. Yay, a prize! Oh, you so oh, worth it. Me, me. I'm coming down the stairs. Ah, he's coming down the stairs. Oh, okay, the pizza looks done. That's good enough. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, put it on the, the little fish. Yeah, yeah. Uh, how about this? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's add this. Yeah, mix it all together. Uh, what else can I add? What else can I add? Um, um, oh, yeah, yeah, pineapples. Why not? You gotta have your fruit. Uh, uh, Bowser, you, you can come in now. All right, Chef Pee Pee, I came back for my meal. <gasps> Chef Pee Pee, what is that? Uh, it's everything you asked for, right, Bowser? It, it is amazing. I mean, it looks absolutely delicious. I mean, you got the decorative stuff and everything. You got the pizza and the fish under there. Oh my God, <gasps> look at your workstation. I can really tell that you're putting a lot of effort, Chef Pee Pee. You know what? I got $600 for you.
<laughs> yeah, yep, six hundred dollars. Yep. So enjoy your money. Oh, let me take my meal. I'm hungry as hell. Woo! I just made eleven hundred dollars in one day just for babysitting and cooking some food. Oh my God. Hard work does pay off, people. I, I, I admit it. Look at this cash. Oh, I can bathe in this. Oh. <laughs> What do you want to do today? Oh, uh, dude, we should play truth or dare. <gasps> That'd be so fun. All right, Cody, truth or dare. But why do I have to go first? Truth or dare. <sighs> Fine, dare. I dare you to call your parents and say you died. <laughs> <laughs> dude, that'd be so hilarious. Wait, you want me to call my parents and tell them that I died? Yeah. They're going to know it's me when they hear my voice. Can't you do like a cop impression? Yeah, kind of. Oh, it's going to be so funny. No, dude, I can't wait for it. Okay, it's ringing. Hello, Cody? Uh, uh no, ma'am, it's not Cody, it's the police. Uh, we found your son's phone in the road because he got hit by an 18-wheeler. <laughs> oh my god, all 18 wheels? Uh, yes, ma'am, even the spare tire fell off and hit him. <laughs> Is he dead? Uh, I'm afraid so, ma'am. Yeah, he was he was flattened like a pancake. Oh, thank God. What? Hey, Tyrone, Cody's dead. We're finally free. What? Cody's dead? Oh, thank the Lord Jesus. Our son is dead. I, I mean, boo-hoo, boo-hoo-hoo-hoo. We can finally go on that cruise. Yeah, baby. You're going to get all the cream pies you want. We're going to make another one. Oh, I'm so excited. Thank you for telling us the good news, officer. So were they sad? Yeah. Yeah, they, they were very sad, and they were crying, and it was very clear how much they loved me. <laughs> oh, that's so funny. <laughs> they cried over you dying. <laughs> Who would have <laughs> imagined? Right. All right, someone ask me. Someone ask me truth or dare. Uh, truth or dare. Dare. Uh, okay, I dare you to go throw all of Chef Pee-Pee's food on the ground. Oh, yeah, actually, I don't do that every night. Yeah, true. Mm-mm-mm, mm, my burnt turkey club sandwich is almost done. Mm, I can smell the flavors. Wait, Junior, what the hell are you doing? Oh, Junior, what the hell? This is my dinner! Oh, I hate you! Oh, my burnt turkey club sandwich. <laughs> all right, Cody, I did it, and Chef Pee-Pee got really mad. <laughs> That's funny. All right, Joseph, truth or dare? Uh, truth. You don't want to do dare? No, dude, I choose truth. You're such a wuss. Um, have you ever killed anyone? On accident or purpose? Uh, on purpose? <laughs> yeah. What happened? Uh, 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 you only get one question, dude. I don't think I want to know anymore. All right, Jeffy, truth or dare? Dare. Ooh, dude, I dare you to crash a car into a tree. What, Joseph, no, you're not supposed to hurt anyone. Dude, I'll do it. What, no, no Jeffy. See? See, he has a helmet on. It's safe. Right, he's not going to do that. And, and he also is the only one of us that has a car. No, this is a bad idea, guys. I'm going to do it, and I'll show you. What? But no! He's doing it! He's actually doing it! He's gonna be the truth or dare champion! The truth or dare god! Jeffy, I really wouldn't do this. And lose your dare? Mom ain't raised no bitch! Your mom didn't raise you at all! Exactly! <laughs> oh. All right, mate. There's one donut left. Hmm. I guess we could play rock, paper, scissors for it. Well, that won't work because our hands can only do paper. Yeah, you're right. Paper, paper, paper wouldn't really work. Um, how about we play I Spy and whoever can guess what the other person's looking at gets the donut. All right, I'll go first. I spy something green. Is it the grass? Damn it! Uh, okay, uh, I spy something, hmm. I spy something yellow going very fast. Is it the sun? Well, no, Simmons, the sun doesn't move. Well, it kind of does because we orbit it. Well, no, but we're going around the sun. We're moving. The sun's not moving. Well, what if it's from what we see? Like, you know how the sun goes up and down? No, no Simmons, I already said it's not the sun. It, it was that car that just drove by very, very fast. Okay. Oh. Yeah, yeah, so you lose and I get the donut with the rainbow jimmies. Now, we're still going to pull that guy over, I'm just going to eat the donut while I'm driving. <laughs> Dispatch, we have a car that's not pulling over. I repeat, he's not pulling over. And this donut is delicious. Hmm, what train should I run into? Dispatch, he's going off-road. How about that tree? That's the one. Yeah! Holy shit. Uh, Dispatch, he just crashed into a tree. Stand by. We might need an ambulance. Let's go check on him, Simmons. Uh, sir? Are you okay? I won truth or dare. I wonder if Jeffy crashed that car. Hey, hey kids, get off our couch! 
Get out of here, you bunch of goobers. Marvin, you could have said please. No, this is our couch. We sit here. Hey, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to interrupt you rubbing your ass on the couch. Uh, the cops? What are you doing here? Oh, uh, well, your son Jeffy crashed his car into a tree. What? Is he okay? He's hurt. Oh, my God! How's the car? Marvin! No, no, seriously. How's the car? Like, is it okay? Oh, it's total. Are you sure? Yeah, come look. Oh, no. Does this look total to you? What? Jeffy did this? Yep. Oh, I am so sorry, officer. Hey, that my tree. Look what he did in my tree. What? This is the mayor, Tuna Fish Terry. He's mad because your son crashed his car into this tree. Yeah, me and my high school we are. We kids don't need the tree. Yeah, he says he kissed his high school sweetheart under this tree, so he's mad that your son crashed his car into it. Also, I think your son might have started a forest fire a while back that burned this tree, so yeah, he is suing you. What? Suing? Yeah, goddamn right. I'm gonna throw out. You can get more tooth bit. What? Yeah, he's suing you. Okay. <laughs> Marvin, is Jeffy okay? The car's total. But what about Jeffy? He's right here. I put my doctor outfit on because we're going to be talking about doctor stuff. Jeffy, are you all right? Well, my neck is broken. Yeah, he has a hairline fracture in his cervical vertebrae. Is he in a lot of pain? Oh, this right here is like a 6 out of 10. See, this one time I had testicular torsion where my nuts get all tangled up and twisted around. That was a 10 out of 10. And believe me, I'm a doctor. I know. I know how to read that little smiley face chart. So is everything going to be okay? Oh, it's okay now. Yeah, they did a surgery and got it untangled. It's kind of like when you put your headphones in your pocket and they come out all tangled, except it's my balls. Not with you, with Jeffy! Oh yeah, he's fine. He's got a neck brace on. My balls do still hurt sometimes, though. Well, as long as everything's okay with Jeffy. Well, he is getting sued by the mayor for hitting the mayor's favorite tree with his car. Oh, is the tree all right? Oh, I mean, nothing happened to the tree. It was the berries that got a little tangled up on the vine, but the tree's fine. I, I mean, it does have a slight natural curve, but I looked it up and apparently that's normal. And sometimes it's even more pleasurable for the woman. Oh, you guys aren't talking about my dick. You're talking about the tree that he hit. No, I don't know. I'm not a botanist, man. Don't they study robots? Uh, yeah, look, okay, Jeffy has court today, so I gotta get ready because I'm actually the lawyer he's going up against in the trial, so I have a lot of paperwork to do, and I have to change clothes for the third time today. Oh, Jeffy, now we have to get you a lawyer because you have to go to court. We can't even afford a lawyer. Just go to court. Just go do it. I don't care. Hola, hola, hola. Soy el honorable juez Bube. Wait, no, sorry, that was in Spanish. I just had a Spanish language case before this one, and I haven't adjusted yet. I'll start over. Order, order, order! I am the Honorable Judge Pooba, and today we will be hearing the case of Jeffy versus Tuna Fish Terry's tree. Now, Tuna Fish Terry, tell me what happened. I did on my back porch, eat tuna fish, all of a sudden, damn car come around the corner, hit my tree, I'm like, yeah, baby, I'm gonna spill my tuna fish. I don't, um, I, I didn't understand anything he just said. I, I speak Spanish, but I don't speak whatever the hell that was. Can we get an interpreter, please? I'll translate for you, Judge. Uh, my client was trying to say that he was sitting on his back porch eating tuna fish when he saw a car come around the corner and hit his tree, and he was so startled he almost spilled his tuna fish. I, I was actually a cop pursuing that vehicle, so I can confirm all of that is true. Oh, I see. Now, D Jeffy, why did you crash your car in the tuna fish terry's tree? My friends and I were playing truth or dare, and one of my friends dared me to crash my car into a tree. So I ain't no bitch, so I did it. Ow! Jesus. What were you saying? I'm sorry. I was playing truth or dare with my three friends, and one of them dared me to crash my car into a tree. Oh, it was a dare for truth or dare. I see. Well, who dared you to crash your car into that tree? Because it's their fault. I mean, obviously you're going to do the dare. You're not a bitch. So who dared you to do it? It was one of my friends. I can't remember which one did it. I see. Go grab his friends. If they're not here, go grab them. It's a court order. Just tell them that and then bring them here. Uh, what's going on? Am I in trouble? I ain't saying nothing, dude. You three boys were playing a game of truth or dare, and one of you dared Jeffy to crash his car into a tree. So who was it? Who was it? God damn it, tell me! Look, guys, if we don't tell them anything, they won't know. It, it was Joseph! Damn. Look, y'all, y'all are snitches! Aha, uh -huh. so you were the dare of the dare. And the rules of truth or dare clearly state that the dare of the dare shall not be spared, but the doer of the dare shall be spared of any bodily harm or property damage they may have incurred as a result of doing a dare. What I'm trying to say is, Jeffy is cleared from this case. But you, Joseph, you knew Jeffy was going to do the dare when you dared him to do the dare, so this is your fault and Tuna Fish Terry should be suing you. I order you to pay Tuna Fish Terry for the damage to his tree, which is 
Whatever he says it is, it's a, it's a tree. I don't know. It's sentimental. What? I don't have any money to pay for that. Judge, I didn't do it. I don't want to hear it. This case is closed. Boom. Now, if you'll excuse me, I will drink my orange high C. Come to me, high C. Mm. 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 That is delicious and very high in C. If I were a pirate, I could sail the high seas. <laughs> and I wouldn't even get scurvy because it's very high in vitamin C. Case dismissed. Oh, I hate you guys! Well, he did make the dare. Yeah. Oh, I hate you guys! I don't want to be around you! Leave! But this is my house, Joseph. Well, go into another room then! But this is my house, Joseph. Oh, shut up! Well, you did dare Jeffy to crash his car. That doesn't mean you have to snitch on me then! But you did dare Jeffy, so it was your fault. Duh, that doesn't mean you have to tell! <sighs> Whatever, Joseph. Look, we're still playing truth or dare, so I dare you not to be mad. <laughs> Uh, well, how much did Tuna Fish Terry want for his tree anyway? He wanted a hundred dollars, and I don't have that type of money. A hundred dollars? Yeah. Well, I have that much in my wallet. Well, give it to me! Well, no, it's my hundred dollars. Well, you don't need it. Well, I, I want it. I'm gonna buy a new tea party set. Hey, Cody, I dare you to give Joseph that hundred dollars. No, it's not worth it. I double dog dare you to give Joseph that hundred dollars. No, I don't care. I triple dog dare you to give Joseph that hundred dollars. <laughs> Shit! <laughs> Joseph, what do you want to do today? Uh, I don't know, dude. What do you want to do? Chef Peepy gave me $20. Whoa, $20? Wait, why did he give you $20? Well, he didn't give it to me. I found it in his wallet, but he put his wallet somewhere where I could find it, so he basically gave it to me. Oh, that makes sense. Hey, guys. Oh, hey, Cody. Chef Peepy gave me $20. Oh, that's cool. But do you know what's cooler? If he would have gave me $40? Well, yeah, I guess. But me, me, I'm cool. Wait, you're not cool, Cody. You're lame. <laughs> you're a loser. No, no, guys, I'm about to be famous. What, famous? Did you become the mayor of Dorksville? <laughs> no, Junior, I'm about to be the world's biggest celebrity. What, you? What are you going to be the world's biggest celebrity for? Having the most pimples on your face? The pimple face? No, <laughs> no, 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 no. Why don't you turn on the 10 o'clock news and find out? Okay, turn on the 10 o'clock news. Breaking news, okay? Local boy sets world record for most backflips done in one minute. He did a whopping 300 backflips. Whoa! Cody, I didn't know you set a world record! Dude, I didn't know you could do backflips! No, 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 I, I can't. I, I can't do any flips. No, no, that's not about me. But mine's coming up. Just keep watching. Oh, okay. In other news, another local boy saved eight kittens from a house fire. Whoa! Cody, you saved eight kids? Dude, you're so heroic. Yeah. No, 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 that one's not about me either. But d don't worry, just keep watching. It's coming up. In other, other news, another local boy does open heart surgery while blindfolded. Oh my god! No, no, not me. Not me. I'm coming up though. Hold on. Uh oh. In other, other, other news, NASA has selected a local boy to be the first kid on the moon. Oh my god, NASA? Nope, 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 nope. That's not me either. I, I know, there's a lot of really cool local boys, apparently. But don't worry, my story's the coolest and it's coming out. Okay. In other, 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 other news, a local boy wins the National Spelling Bee. Nope, not me either. But I'm coming up, though. <sighs> and now to the weather. A tornado picked up a house. Luckily, a local boy jumps out of the house and survives the fall. You survived? No. Nope. nope. Yeah, no, no, it's not me. But uh, look, 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 mine's coming up, and I promise it's going to be the best one. It better be. And for the last story of the day, a small fender bender in a Walmart parking lot was witnessed by a local boy. We have an exclusive interview with him now. Let's go to that. Hey kid, did you hear about the car accident? What, there was a car accident? Oh, I was just eating my ice cream and I heard a bang, so I guess that's what that was. Whoa! Dude, you're on TV, you're famous! Guys, come on, I know. Oh, Cody, 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 how's it feel to be on TV? That's pretty cool. Dude, how much did they pay you? Yeah. Oh, they didn't pay me, I did that for free. You did that amazing acting performance for free? No, I wasn't acting, that was a true story. Well, how long did it take you to memorize your script? Oh, there was no script, I just made that up right on the spot. What, that was improv? Yep, right off the dome. Oh, Cody, you're so talented. <laughs> Yeah, I know. I don't like to toot my own horn, but <laughs> toot toot. Oh, God, Joseph, it's so cool. We're friends with the famous person on TV. Dude, we're basically famous, too. Well, I don't know if I'd say that. I mean, you know a famous person, but you're not famous. You're basically like Steve Harvey. Yeah, but why? Yeah, yeah, you're right. I'm exactly like Steve Harvey. Well, yeah, y'all are both on TV. Yep, yep. Those are the things we have in common. Oh, that's so cool, Cody. What's it feel like to be famous? Oh, you know, I'm starting to get a big head. <laughs> 
I'm sorry. Well, I just lost it. Oh, you know what we should do? We should get Chef PB to make you a favorite meal since you're famous. Oh, you guys don't have to do that, but I mean, I guess I'm famous, so we might as well. Okay, yeah, Chef PB would love to cook for a celebrity. Let's go! <laughs> hey, Chef PB, can you make us something to eat? No, Junior! I'm already cooking dinner, and I'm not changing what I'm making. <sighs> sorry, Cody. Chef PB won't change what he's making. Wait, did you say Cody? The guy from the news? That Cody? <laughs> yeah, that's me. Oh, my God! Yeah, guilty as charged. Oh, okay. Oh my god. I gotta get an autograph. Please, can you give me your autograph? For you, Chef PP. Of course. Oh my god, thank you so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Wait, you had a pen on you? Of course, Junior. I'm famous. I have to carry a pen now. Oh, one more thing. I have to ask for one more favor. Could you say the line, please? Oh, <laughs> Oh, uh, I don't know, that old thing? Come on, come on, for me, please? It's like music to my ears. Oh, let's see if I can even remember it. <clears throat> How'd it go? There was a car accident. <gasps> oh, I was just eating my ice cream. <gasps> I heard it bang, so I guess that's what that was. Oh my god, he said the line! He said the line! Oh my god, he did it! Thank you so much! Calm down, calm down. <laughs> All right, Jenny, we should probably go since he won't cook anything else. Wait, wait, I'll cook whatever you want, Cody. You just name it. What do you want to eat? Are you sure? I wouldn't want to bother you. Oh, you're not bothering me. Anything for you, your famousness. <laughs> oh, you don't have to call me that. But, I mean, you can call me that if you want to. So, uh, so what do you want to eat? I think I'll just have a grilled cheese. Oh, oh. He's like a normal person, oh my god! <laughs> yeah, yeah, fame hasn't gotten to me that much. I would like a filet mignon on top of that, too, and some caviar, please, thank you. Ugh, Junior, that meal was delicious. I can't believe you made Chef Pee, Pee feed you. Well, of course, Junior. I can't let anything happen to my ice cream holders. <laughs> That's what I call my hands now. Ice cream holders? You know, because I got famous from holding an ice cream and saying my famous line? Yeah, I know. So what do you want to go do now, Cody? Well, Junior, there's not much we can do. Not without thousands of adoring fans swarming us and wanting my picture and autograph and stuff. You know, sometimes I just want to live a normal life. Uh, hey, Cody, can I get a selfie real quick? Yeah, sure, bro. Oh, thanks so much! I got it. <laughs> no problem. Like I was saying, sometimes I just want Oh, man. Uh, can I get another one? It's a little blurry. <laughs> God, I am not taking another picture. I'm not just like your statue that you can just walk up and take pictures of all day. Oh man, I'm sorry. I'm just kidding, of course I'll take another picture. R really? Yeah, I'll do these things all day. Oh, okay, thanks. <laughs> yeah, don't mention it. Anyway, like I was saying, you know, sometimes I just want a normal life. Oh, oh, one more thing, one last favor. Uh, Can I get a video of you saying like happy birthday or something to my friend Tanner? It's his birthday. <sighs> How old is Tanner? Oh, uh, he's seven. Is he even old enough to watch the news? Uh, I'm not sure, I think so. <sighs> okay, I'll do. It. Uh, all right, I'm recording. It's Tanner's birthday. Oh, I was just eating my ice cream cone and I heard somebody singing happy birthday, so I guess that's what that was. Oh my god! He said the line! He said the line! Off the door! You, you mixed it up to make it look like it was Tanner's birthday, but like your famous line! Yeah, yeah, that's why I'm famous. Oh, you're so cool, Cody, and talented. Yeah. So, so what's the next big movie you're gonna be in? I don't know. I guess I'll just have to wait for the next car accident so I can witness it. Wait, my phone's ringing. Jello! Hey there, is this that kid from the news? Well, as a matter of fact, it is. How would you like to have a movie made about your life? What, really? What, wow, that'd be amazing. I, I mean, it seems like kind of a short movie, but yeah, let's do it. Well, we all thought it was really impressive how you rescued all those kittens from that house. Uh, oh, that that wasn't me. That that was actually another kid that was on the news. Oh, well, we still thought it was really cool that you jumped out of that tornado like that. That would make a good movie. Well, well, it, it would. Yeah, you're right, but that, that wasn't me either. I, I didn't do that. Oh, which kid were you? I, I, I was I was the one with the car accident. You know, I heard it. I had ice cream. Oh, you were pretty good too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I've been told. <laughs> so I've been told. Well, how would you like to be a famous movie star? What? what? <laughs> I, I did, yes, yes, please, dear God. All right. Well, I'll be right over to your house in a few minutes to help you sign some papers. <laughs> All right. Sounds good, babe. Well, that was a famous. Oh, sorry, Cody. I was in the bathroom. What's going on? That was a famous Hollywood talent agent, and he wants to represent me. Oh, re really? <laughs> yeah, he's coming over to sign some papers. I, I, I don't know why he's coming over to your house, but come on, let's answer the door. What? Hello? Hey there, it's me, famous Hollywood talent agent Steve Staleberger. What, the Steve Staleberger? Who's Steve Staleberger? Junior, you don't know who Steve Staleberger is? What? No. Well, do you know Will Smith? Yeah. Well, he almost was his talent agent. Wait, really? Yeah, almost. Couldn't couldn't quite get him, though. Well, what movies have you made? Oh, well, you know Toy Story? Yeah. Well, that is a movie that he had nothing to do with, but it's a really good movie. It is? Yeah. So, so what movies have you helped make? Um... Look, kid, I'm gonna make you a star. We're gonna put your name in lights. I've already got ten movies lined up for you. All you have to do is come with me. The private jet is already fueled up. 
Really? Right now? Wait, wait, you're gonna go to Hollywood right now? Yeah, Junior. When an opportunity like this comes, you have to take it. Well, wait, wait, are you gonna forget about me when you're famous? Of course I'll remember you, Jerry. Come on, Steve. Well, Aww. What do you think Cody's doing? I haven't seen him in months. Well, he's a big time Hollywood actor now. He doesn't have time for us normal people anymore. What's up, you non-famous people? But Cody, you're back? Yeah, I just wanted to stop by and see how I used to live. You know, see my old childhood friends. But you, you, you remember us? Yeah, of course I remember you... Jonathan? Do you remember my name? Yeah, of course, I, I couldn't forget you, uh... Ricky? Ricky, yeah, you're Ricky. No, 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 my name is Joseph. Oh, maybe your middle name, but your name is Ricky. Yeah, my old childhood friends, Jonathan and Ricky. Oh, well, how's Hollywood been? Oh, it's been pretty good. I actually probably have to get going. We're shooting another movie tomorrow. What, what, what movie? Oh, uh, they're remaking Jaws. Here, I'll give you a little taste. <clears throat> what? There's a shark attack? Oh, I was just eating my ice cream and I heard people screaming. I guess that's what that was. Whoa, that's yeah. really cool. Yeah, you gotta see the movie for the rest. Oh, that's so awesome. Well, you know, I actually have a little bit more time. You guys wanna watch all the movies I've ever been in? Wait, wait, you, how many movies have you been in? Oh, like 10. Come on, let's watch them. Okay. <laughs> what? We hit an iceberg? I was just eating my ice cream and I heard a big crash. I guess that's what that was. Oh, dude, that was so beautiful. I think I'm crying. You're so talented, Cody. Yeah, that was me in the Titanic remake. They wanted Leonardo DiCaprio, but he doesn't like ice cream. What other movies were you in? Well, uh, they rebooted Spider-Man for the fourth time, and they made me Spider-Man. You want to see it? Yeah. What? The Green Goblin was here. I was just eating my ice cream, and I heard someone say, You'll never catch me, Spider-Man. I guess that's what that was. That's so cool, you're Spider-Man! Yeah, who isn't these days, though? What other movies are you in? Well, uh, I'm in the Transformers remake, you wanna see that? Yeah, yeah What? Optimus Prime was here. I was just eating my ice cream and I heard, Autobots, roll out. I guess that's what that was. Whoa, that's so cool, the robot's real? Nah, it's all green screen, CGI, you know? Famous actors like me know that. Any other movies you're in? Well, they're remaking all the old Star Wars movies, so I'm in those, you wanna see them? Yeah! What? Count Dooku's dead. I was just eating my ice cream and I heard Chancellor Palpatine say, Do it. I guess that's what that was. Whoa! You were in a Star Wars movie! Did they give you a lightsaber? <laughs> no. It's a movie, Ricky. It's not real. Yeah, yeah, Ricky. It's not real. Uh, so, uh, what other movies are you in? Well, I'm in the new Lion King remake. You want to see that? What, they're remaking Lion King? Oh, yeah. Check it out. What? Mufasa's dead. I was just eating my ice cream and I heard, Brother, help me. I guess that's what that was. Whoa! Oh, you were in Lion King? Yeah, I don't wanna brag, but yeah, I was. Any other movies? Well, I was in the remake of Snakes on a Plane. What, really? Yeah, check it out. What? There's snakes on this plane. I was just eating my ice cream and I heard Samuel L. Jackson say, I'm sick and tired of these monkey fighting snakes on this Monday to Friday plane. I guess that's what that was. That's cool. Yeah, not my best work. I feel like I didn't really sell that there were snakes on that plane, you know? I should have been like, what? There's snakes on this plane? But instead I was just like, what? There's snakes on this plane? You know, it doesn't really work. Yeah, it's okay. Is there any other movies? Look, guys, we could do this all day, but I'm a famous Hollywood actor now. I have meetings to go to and ice cream to hold. Oh, hold on, my phone's ringing. What's up, Steve? What, really? Another one? Today? Okay, fine. Wait, who's that? Pixar's making another Toy Story movie, and they want me to say, What? The toys have been alive this whole time. I was just eating my ice cream, and I heard somebody say, There's a snake in my boot. So I guess that's what that was. You know, so I gotta go. Aw, you really have to go? Yeah, but hey, before I go, I got you guys presents. Wait, really? Who is it, money? I got you guys Cody Cones. Wait, Cody Cones? Yeah, well, Cody Cones. Wait, yeah, you know, because that's what I'm famous for. Holding ice cream and saying my line. No ice cream? But, oh, okay. You give and you give and you give, and people still always want more. All right. Well, I mean, yeah, well, he did sign them, Joseph. That's that's really cool. Yeah, these are really valuable. Do you know how many strings I had to pull to get these for you? These aren't even on the market yet. Oh, well, sorry. Thank you, Cody. Yeah, yeah, that's right. All right, guys, I gotta go back to Hollywood and shoot some more movies. Oh, Cody, Cody, Cody. You know, since we're your friends, is there any way that we could, you know, possibly, you know, come with you and watch you perform? Please? <sighs> Uh, yes, okay, fine, I guess. But I'm shooting five movies today, okay? Just don't get in my way. Uh, okay, well, we'll be, we'll be quiet on set. Whoa, dude, this is a movie studio! This is so cool! Calm down, calm down. It's not that cool, okay? It's just a movie studio. I mean, I practically live here because of all the movies I'm in. So, like, is everything green screen now? Yeah, Junior, that's modern movies. Everything's all green screen. So, like, how do you know who you're talking to if it's green screen? I'm eating ice cream, Junior. It's not that hard. 
Ooh, 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 can we get in the scene? Yeah, yeah. Okay, guys, how about you just stand over there, okay? I really have to focus on my work. I really gotta be up right now, you know? Okay. Okay, don't make any noise. All right, we're ready to film Toy Story. You ready, boy? All right, all right, I'm ready. Let's do this. What, aren't you forgetting something? Wait, no, I'm good. Let's, let's go. Boy, your ice cream! Oh, yeah, the ice cream. That's, that's my whole thing. All right, sorry. All right, all right, I got my ice cream and I'm ready. Let's do this thing. And action! What? The toys were alive this whole time. I was just eating my, uh, my, what is it? Oh, my ice cream. <laughs> I'm sorry, I don't know how I forgot ice cream. It's right here in my hand. I'm sorry, let's do that again. All right, this time from the top. And action! What? The toys were alive this whole time. I was just eating my ice cream, and I heard a, uh, uh, wait, what did I hear? What, what did I, oh, oh, the, uh, yeah, okay, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, uh, yeah. The toys! Yeah, yeah, I know, I know the toys, I'm sorry, let's take it one more time, I, I'm sorry. And action! What? The toys were alive this whole time. I was just eating my ice, uh, ice, ice coffee? Damn it, boy, the ice cream! It's in your hand! What, yeah, 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 I know, I know, okay? It's, it's hot in here and the ice cream's melting, I'm all, I'm all mad. It's, it's fine, it's fine, okay? I got it, we'll just, we'll just do it again. And action! What? Woody's been stolen, now he's gonna be sold to a private collection, and also there's a horse this time- Wait, what? No, 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 that was the sequel! What, what am I doing? I don't even- I don't wanna do this movie, okay? This is stupid. I- I don't even wanna do this. I, look, I'm gonna- I'm gonna go home, okay? Just forget this! He just doesn't have it anymore. <laughs> Cody, are you okay? Yeah, yeah, I'm fine, I'm fine. I'm just- I'm just burned out, you know? I do like 25 of these movies a day, and it's always the same line. You know, I hear something different, and something different happened, but it's always the same line. I'm tired of it. Well, it's kind of like you forgot your line, though. No, I know the line, okay? I'm a professional actor. I know the line. Well, then say the line. O okay, oh, she wants me to say the line. Okay, I'll say the line. I'll, I'll do the one from, from Jaws. Okay, how about that? Uh, w w what's that? There was a... A, a, a shark attack? Uh, whoa, I, I was just holding my... My, uh... Oh, oh what was I holding? Your, your, your no, 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 don't tell me! I don't need help, I'm a professional actor, for God's sake! Well, I, I, was, I was holding a... It, it's, it's cold, and you eat it. Was it a, a popsicle? No, no, it wasn't a popsicle, it was a... Dude, he's lost it. I haven't lost it, okay? I, I'm on top of my game, I'm the best I've ever been! I just need to think of what I was holding, it was a... It's like a, like a push pop or a, a milkshake. Yeah, I, I was just holding my milkshake. No, it was ice cream. Wait, ice cream? Yeah, I, I, really? Well, of course it's ice cream. Obviously, it's always ice cream. What else would it be? You hold it. You have a cone. It's, okay, okay, yeah. I, I was holding my ice cream, and I heard it. I, I heard, what, what did I hear? Oh, God, I don't even know what movie I'm on anymore. Oh, God, I can't do this anymore, Junior. It's, o it's okay, Cody. <laughs> Junior, you know, when I started out this whole thing, I was so excited because I heard a car accident and I had ice cream and I was happy, but now I don't even care. You try holding ice cream for 24 hours a day. Your fingers get cold and they get all pruney. I don't even like strawberry ice cream anymore. It's gross. Look, look, Cody, it's okay, it's okay. <laughs> Some people just don't have it anymore. <laughs> wait, Junior. Wait, 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 your phone's ringing. What? My phone's ringing. Well, I was just holding my. Oh God! What have I become? No, it's, it's okay, Cody. You don't have to do it anymore. Just answer your phone and tell him you don't want to do it anymore. Okay. Yeah, he's really breaking down, dude. <laughs> Hello, famous actor Cody here. How can I help you? Hey there, kid. It's Steve. Oh, hey, Steve. Let me guess. You want me for another movie? Ah, uh, no, actually. We talked it over with the studio, and we're gonna have to let you go. What? what? Let me go? But, but I'm the ice cream kid. Why? Well, your movies just aren't performing like they used to. It's almost like audiences don't really believe that you're a kid with an ice cream cone who heard something. It's starting to get stale. And I should know. I'm Steve Staleberger. Well, yeah, but uh, there's gotta be other stuff we can do, you know, like, like Godzilla. You know, how about this? Check this out. What? Godzilla's attacking Tokyo? Well, I was just eating my... My, uh, my froyo! See, kid, this is the exact kind of thing we're talking about. You just don't have it anymore. You're done! <laughs> what, what, what happened, Cody? I got fired. Well, is that what you wanted? You were tired of it. Yeah, but I was a famous Hollywood actor. Now I'm nobody. Well, uh, you want to go and get some ice cream with this $20 I got? It's my treat. Yeah, you want to come, Cody? Yeah, I'm getting chocolate, though. Well, maybe we'll hear a car accident. I'm very funny, Junior. Hey, Joseph, where'd you get that $20 at? Hey, Dad.
Hey, can I go outside and step in dog poop? Ew, no, Jeffy. Why would you want to do that? Because I like the sound it makes when I step on it. No, Jeffy. You can't go outside and step in dog poop. That's gross, Jeffy. Well, I'm going to do it anyway. <laughs> Well, if you're gonna do it anyway, can you at least put shoes on? Ew, Marvin! But Daddy, I can't find my shoes! What do you mean you can't find your shoes? Well, they ran away! How'd your shoes run away? I don't know, but they did it, Daddy. Jeffy, shoes can't run away unless you're the one in the shoes running. Well, I just can't find them, Daddy. Did you look everywhere? Well, I looked everywhere and I thought that they could be. And where's that? On my feet. They're not on your, if they were on your feet, they wouldn't be lost, Jeffy. Look, I'm gonna help you find your shoes. All right, Daddy. <gasps> Jeffy, I found your shoes! No way! I looked everywhere! Oh, booger, why are you two in my shoes? Bad booger, bad! Now we have to get your new shoes, Jeffy. Well, Daddy, I can step in dog poop without shoes. No, Jeffy, we'll get your new shoes and you're not stepping in dog poop in them. <sighs> Ugh. Did you find Jeffy's shoes, Marvin? Yes, I did, but his pet dinosaur booger ate him. Oh, no! So now we have to get Jeffy new shoes, and they're going to be so expensive. Well, I could go to the thrift store and buy him a used pair of shoes. Yeah, just do that. Can you give me the Poop Stompers 3000? No, Jeffy, you're not going to stop and poop in your new shoes. Okay, I'll be right back. Marvin, I'm back. Oh, my God, those shoes are cool. Mommy, those shoes are the tits. How much do those cost? They were only $20, Marvin, and the owner of the store said Michael Jordan used to wear these when he was a kid. Michael Jordan? Yeah! Well, they're about to belong to Scotty Poopin' after he gets on stepping in dog poop with him. Or Shaquille O'Neal. Or, or Fecal Jordan. <laughs> Jeffy, put these shoes on. Uh. Daddy, look, these shoes fit perfectly. Well, you better take care of them, Jeffy. Oh, don't worry, Daddy. I'm only going to step in the finest dog turds with these babies. You better not, Jeffy. Yeah, Jeffy, actually take care of these shoes. Look, I bet your friends are jealous. Go show your friends. Oh, you're right, Daddy. I bet you they don't have dog turd stompers like these babies. I'll be right back. Oh, I made it again! <laughs> when do we get a turn? We're playing Make It Take It, so whenever I miss it, that's when you get a turn. But I don't miss. <sighs> We're going to be here all night. See? He keeps making it. Yeah. Oh. He just keeps making it. See, see, watch this. Uh, do it again. Uh, oh, God. Oh, finally he missed. We get a turn. Yeah. Okay, finally. Now it's my turn. Hey, guys, can I play? No, we haven't even had our turn yet. Cody, just let Jeffy have a turn. He probably sucks at basketball. He's going to miss this shot anyway. Okay. Oh. Whoa, he made it. Oh, you know what? New rules. Everybody has to shoot from way back there because we're shooting from way too close. Okay. From right here? Yeah, from right there. He's totally going to miss this. Yeah. Well, you made it from there? Heck yeah! Well, uh, uh, you have to make it from the balcony now. How about that? Okay. Yeah, he's gonna miss that. Yeah. All right, Jeffy, try to make it from up here. Dude, I can't even make it from up here. I know, I'm trying to get Jeffy to lose his turn. All right, watch this. Heck yeah! Well, how does he keep making it? Oh, I know a shot that you definitely can't make. Come on! All right, Jeffy, for this next shot, you have to shoot the ball over the balcony and make it to the goal. But Jimmy, that's impossible. And you have to do it over your head. That's even more impossible. Just go sit by the goal and see if he makes it. All right, Jeffy, shoot the shot. All right. Whoa, he made it. Dude, he just doesn't miss. What? He made that? Yeah, yeah, he did. Oh, when's he ever going to miss? I don't know. Did I make it? Yeah, Jeffy, how are you so good at basketball? I don't know. It must be the new shoes I got from Michael Jordan. What? Michael Jordan used to have those shoes? No way, dude. Oh, this is like that movie, Like Mike. What? What? Well, you know, that movie where the kid gets Michael Jordan's shoes and they make him good at basketball? That never happened. Wait, that's a thing? Uh, yeah. Wait, 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 so you're saying that Jeffy's only good at basketball because he has Michael Jordan's old shoes? I mean, maybe. Wait, so you're saying as long as he's wearing those shoes, he's never going to miss? Uh, I, I guess. Jeffy, let's try it. All right, Jeffy, try to make a shot. All right. <clears throat> All right, now take the shoes off. All right. Try to make another shot. He missed! It's the shoes! It's the shoes! Oh my god! So if Jeffy's wearing those shoes, he could be in the NBA! He'll never miss! He'll win like 25 championships! Oh my god, that's awesome! Uh, who could that be? Hello? Hey man! Uh, what are you doing here? Hey, do you have any eggs? Eggs? Yeah, my wife wants to make scrambled eggs, but we don't have any eggs. Why didn't you go to the store? Well, because that costs money, and I figured I could get them for free from you. I mean, you're not gonna say no, right? I, I, I came all this way. They're in the fridge. Thanks, bud. Ooh, I'm gonna get a drink while I'm here, too. Ooh, and maybe some chips. I mean, he already said yes to the eggs. He's not gonna say no to that. Dude, he just doesn't miss! What? What's that all about? Come on, Jeffy, make it again. Yeah, come on! Guys, I've already made it like 300 times. I know, just do it one more time. Please! What's going on in here? This kid can't miss when he shoots the basketball. What? Yeah, yeah, he just can't miss a shot. He's been making them all night. No way, show me. Yeah, 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 try, try this shot, Jeffy. All right. <clears throat> Whoa. See, he just doesn't miss. Wow, kid, you should go pro. Well, he's really young. He can't go pro yet. 
Huh, yeah, you're right. But he's not too young for me to use him to hustle some people down at the gym. Huh. Hey, kid, come with me to the gym. I think you guys are good enough to beat the national champs. Wait, really? Yeah, come on. There they are. They're legit. Best, best. Oh my god, they're really good! Yeah, there's a reason they won the championship. You think we can beat them? Not you, your friend. But a basketball team needs five people, so also you. Okay. I'm gonna go see if they'll accept the challenge. That's what I'm talking about, Tron! That's what I'm talking about! Excuse me, sir. Hey, what do you want? I'd like to make a little wager. A wager? Yeah, I'd bet this kid and his friends could beat you and your team in a game of basketball. <laughs> You know we the champions, right? Well, yes, sir, I do know that. Which is why I'd be willing to bet $50,000 that this kid could beat you in basketball. $50,000? Oh, you serious, serious? Oh, I'm serious. You don't have $50,000. Shut up. Hey, so, uh, so we have a deal? Uh, hold on, let me see, let me see. Hey, y'all think we could beat these little kids in a basketball game? <laughs> <laughs> right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, you got a challenge. All right, I'll get the rest of the kids. Hey, and if we, if we win... You never get to touch a basketball another day in your life, you got that? I don't know how you'd ever enforce that, but okay. Yeah, that's what I thought. Hey kids, you ready to make me $50,000? What? He thinks we can beat a professional basketball team. But we can't beat a professional basketball team. Well, not on your own, but Jeffy can. He never misses. Yeah, guys, I think we can do it. All right, come on. All right, what scrums are we going up against? They're right there. Uh, check out the half court shot. Almost, okay, almost, yeah, y'all made yeah. that, y'all saw that, right? Yeah, what yeah, yeah, almost, it's yeah. the effort, it's the effort, but that was pretty good. Yeah. yeah, we're going up against them? I think so, dude. Don't worry, your friend here can't miss, isn't that right, Jeffy? Right, I don't miss anything, I just keep making buckets. Okay, let's do this. Hey! I didn't think you'd actually show up. What, do you think I'd make a $50,000 bet involving children and not show up? No, we're here and we're ready to play. Where's your team? Oh, my team's here. Hey, guys, and one girl. Come here. Yeah, my team's here. And we got another guy in the bathroom, but we're here. All right, let's play then. Well, let's play then. Okay, let's play. Be prepared to never touch another one of these ever again in your life. Well, that's not really much of a change for me, but all right, yeah. Yeah, come on. Ow. All right, you guys ready for tip off? Oh yeah, I'm ready. <laughs> Hey, y'all, look! He's wearing a diaper! We're playing against a baby! <laughs> it's gonna be easy. Jeffy, don't let him get in your head. Uh -huh. All right, you ready? Oh, yeah, I'm ready. Yeah, I'm ready. Uh. What do I do? What do I do? Pass it to Jeffy! Yeah! He made that? Oh, no. Come on, guys! Oh, it's on now! Oh my god, you see that three-pointer? Way to go, Jeffy! Good shot, Jeffy! I know. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Uh, 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 uh. Yes, sir! What? What? It's on me, baby! It's Damn it! Come on, guys! Step it up! Oh, dude, I love basketball! Pass it to Jeffy! No, dude, I got this! Pass it to Jeffy! Oh, dude, I'm gonna make it! Watch this! Uh. Oh, dude! Are you supposed to pass it to Jeffy? Dude, I just ate popcorn! Oh. Oh yeah! Oh, 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 yeah. Oh, oh, yeah. Oh, That's what happens yeah. when you don't give the ball to Jeffy. Well, I'm sorry, dude. Pass the ball to Jeffy. God. Uh, 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 Jeffy. Oh, where are you going, Jeffy? Where are you going? Uh, I'm going this way. Uh. <laughs> we losing. We don't lose. Uh. Oh my God! Another three points. We are killing it. You ain't got this. You ain't got this. Oh, here you go, Tron. Get out of my house! This is my house! <laughs> tighten up, Tron! Tighten up! Yeah, come on! Yeah, I don't know what to do! I don't know what to do! Pass the ball to Jeffy! Yeah, but he's so far away, though! Well, yeah, yeah, yeah! That's what I'm about. You got the ball stolen away from a girl? Uh. Yeah! Yeah! That happened because of you. I'm sorry. Okay, six to six. A tight game. Come on, we got this. Where you going? Where you going? You ain't making another shot today. Junior, how are you? Okay. Y'all see me dunk that? Yeah, that was crazy. Yes, yeah, the shoes. Yes, yeah, those shoes. The shoes. Shoes. You can't cover me. You can't cover me. Woo. 
my shoes! How do I keep getting the ball? Just pass the ball to Jeffy. Hey, Jeffy. No! Wait, no, you take it. No, I don't have my shoes. He doesn't have his shoes. Uh, time out! Hey, you can't call time out. Time out, time out. What's going on? Why'd you guys call timeout? One more shot and we win! Someone took my shoes. Yeah, someone took his shoes. What? Okay, I don't even have legs. Who cares? Why do you need shoes? There's something we didn't tell you. Wh what? The shoes he had on. They used to belong to Michael Jordan. They were magical shoes. And it, it made him where he wouldn't miss a single shot. What? Oh, oh, I don't have time for this shit. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. What? Well, okay, where's the shoes? Number one took them and number 11's eating them. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Eat that. You deserve it. You earned it. What? Okay, okay, okay. F forget about the shoes. Okay, you, you never needed the shoes. Actually, we did. Yeah, well, they made him where he didn't miss a shot. Okay, well, we're just gonna have to do without him, okay? Because you can do this, okay? I know you can do this. I believe in you. Just just look deep within yourself, okay? Because if we lose this, I'm, I'm gonna go bankrupt, and I will never be able to touch a basketball ever again. Although I'm a lot less worried about that one. So get back out there and just get one more shot. That's all we need. Okay, let's do it. Come on, let's play! One more shot wins the game! Oh. oh, what's the matter? You can't make a shot without your magical shoes? Um, actually, I cannot. Cody, here! <laughs> Cody, shoot it! Why are you talking like that? I don't know, just shoot it! Okay. You won that you didn't need shoes, you did it! Oh my god! Woo! Oh my god, they did it! Those kids won, they actually pulled it off! I, I could kiss you, I'm gonna kiss you, I'm gonna end up on some kind of list, but I'm still gonna kiss you. Do it again. Cody, we won, let's go celebrate! I gotta admit, those kids, they're pretty good. Yeah, I mean that one kid probably just got lucky, but still, yeah, we won, so where's my money? Yeah, deal's the deal, you'll get your money. <laughs> Alright, awesome! Hey, Danny! Jeffy, what happened to your new shoes? Somebody ate them. No one ate them, Jeffy! Stop lying! Danny, you have no idea the truth behind what I just said. Hey, Marv! But Brooklyn guy. Uh, 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 it's $50,000 guy now. <laughs> $50,000? How'd you get all this money? Well, because your son helped me win a $50,000 bet. But I scored all the points. No, you didn't score the game-winning shot. But I still want to thank you by giving you some of this money. <gasps> we get some of that money? Well, I mean, I'm going to give it to your dad because that seems more responsible. Okay, how, how much are we getting? You are going to get $100. $100? Yeah, you can buy your kids some new shoes. Hey, Dad, can we get the Poop Stompers 3000s? <sighs> yeah, let's go. Sweet. Can't really pick it up. I got you. Wait, no, give it. I, I need it. Oh, sorry, sorry. All my money, I just. Hey, Jeffy, what are you doing? Oh, hey, Junior. Look, I'm just coloring a picture of me killing green beans. Because I hate green beans. Whoa, that's such a cool drawing, Jeffy. You're really good at drawing. Thanks, Junior. I'm artistic, just like my daddy. Autistic? Mm hmm Don't you mean artistic? Yeah, Junior, that's what I said. Artistic. My daddy was really good at drawing and painting. He was an artist. He was an artist? Mm -hmm. That's so cool. Uh, do you think you could draw me? Oh, sure, Junior. Hold on, let me get some paper. Okay, it's gonna be so cool. You stay really still, Junior. Okay. And done. What do you think about that, Junior? Whoa, Jeffy, that looks just like me. Yeah, Junior, I told you I was autistic. Oh, I really wish I was good at drawing like you are. Well, Junior, why don't you try drawing me? What, try drawing you? Mm hmm I mean, I guess I could try. It's not gonna turn out as good as yours, though. Well, just try. Hey, Junior, can not be that bad? Okay, um, where's the pencil? I gotta draw it first and then mm. color it. Where's, where's the pencil at? Oh, Junior, I know where a pencil is. Where? <clears throat> what? In your nose? Uh-huh. You want me to use that one? Yeah, Junior. Hold on, let me get it out for you. Okay, I mean, I guess, I guess I'll use it. Here you go, Junior. What? Ew, what's that green stuff on it? Bungers. Oh, okay, I guess I'll... Ew, that's so gross. Oh, all right, um, I need a piece of paper. Hold on. 
Get that. All right, um, what pose are you gonna be in? Mm -hmm. That one? Uh -huh. Are you sure? Uh -huh. Okay, uh, hold really still. Uh, mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, that. Oh, yeah. Uh huh. Okay, almost done. And uh, done. All right, Jeffy, what do you think about that? Wow, Junior, that's really cool. Are you sure you're not autistic? Because that looks really awesome. I, I mean, I don't think I'm autistic. I mean, I could be. I mean, I don't think it looks that good. Well, Junior, I know what good is. And that's good, Junior. If it wasn't good, would I say this? Doodle doodle pencil fart. <laughs> Anymore. Uh, uh, hey, hey, drawing. Can you can you talk? Yeah. Wait, wait. Where'd he go, Junior? Uh, I don't know. But wait, why would the drawing come to life? Is it? Wait, does it have something to do with the pencil that was in your nose? I don't know, Junior. Wait. So I'm gonna try drawing something else. And if it comes to life after you say doodle doodle pencil fart, then we'll know that we can make our drawings come to life. Okay, Junior. Let's draw something. Okay, let me try. All right. Mario, when are we ever going to do anything besides watch TV? Whenever you take your clothes off. What? Wait, wait, wait baby, I'm trying to watch TV. Stop bothering me. <sighs> <laughs> Je Jeffy, stop bothering me. I'm trying to watch TV. What doing? Jeffy, I said I'm trying to watch TV. Do not bother me. I got a mayonnaise tap on my head. Jeffy, Jeffy, that, that's really nice, but I'm trying to watch TV. <gasps> Jeffy, if you keep bothering me, I'm gonna put you in timeout, okay? Why? Because you're being bad, you're bothering me, so if you keep bothering me, I'm gonna put you in timeout, so leave! <laughs> leave! <laughs> yeah, God. Keeps bothering me. I don't want anyone to bother me, I just wanna watch TV. <sighs> Junior, what's that? Oh, it's my old imaginary friend Gumbo. He died, and I want him to come back to life. <laughs> well, doodle doodle pencil fart! <laughs> Gumbo! <laughs> Gumbo, you're back to life! <laughs> I don't know, I just one day I imagined him, but now he's back, Gumbo, I missed you so much! Oh, that's cool, Junior. Hey, I want to draw something so I can come back to life. Okay, here, use a piece of paper, you have to use your pencil. Uh, Gumbo, I think you're on the pencil. Uh, yeah, there it is, uh, get the pencil. Alright, now start drawing something. Oh, Gumbo, I missed you so much! And done! Whoa, Jeffy, what's that supposed to be? It's a piggy. <laughs> yeah, 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 come on, it's a piggy. Huh? It's a piggy. <laughs> Jeffy, make your drawing come to life. I want to see the piggy. Doodle, doodle, pencil, fuck. <laughs> hey, the piggy, he's alive. Hey, Mr. Piggy, what's doing? Oh, where are you going, Mr. Piggy? Come back! <laughs> Gumbo, no, no, Gumbo, you have to stay here. You have to stay here play with me. <laughs> oh, well, what games do you want to play, Gumbo? <laughs> okay, let, let's just not go anywhere near water, okay? <laughs> I don't want to lose you again. <laughs> hey, Daddy, have you seen a piggy running around here somewhere? That's it, Jeffy. I said if you can't bother me, you're going to timeout. So now you're going to timeout. What the fuck did you say that, bitch? Like five minutes ago when you came in here, I said do not bother me again. If you bother me again, you're going to timeout. So now you're going to timeout. Are you? You fucking high, Daddy? You never said that shit to me! Jeffy, Mario said if you bothered him one more time, you would go into timeout. So now you're going into timeout for bothering me. You two both must be fucking high! Because I was in my fucking room drawing a picture of a piggy, and then he jumped up and hopped off the fucking page! That did not happen, Jeffy, and now you're going to time out for five minutes. Oh, fuck you and your five minutes. I'm innocent, bitch. Daddy, this is horse shit. Jeffy, I want you to look at the corner for five minutes. And what the fuck's the corner going to do? It's going to teach you discipline. How the fuck is it going to do that, Daddy? Look at the corner. Daddy, this ain't teaching me fuck. Look, look at the corner. I got a fucking piggy to catch, bitch. But there is no piggy, Jeffy. Look How the fuck are you going to tell me that? Look, look at the corner. I saw the goddamn piggy. Look I'm at the fucking paper. Look at the corner, Jeffy. God I just don't know what's wrong with him. I don't know why you won't listen. Well, Mario, you did warn him that if he bothered you again, you would put him in timeout. Yeah, he bothered me again. Mm-hmm. I, I just don't know where he gets his language from. I know. He always has the cuss. I, mean, I, I think he learned it from his mother, his real mom. Yeah, she was pretty trashy. Yeah. It just wasn't a good environment at all. Fucking asshole's not believing me about the goddamn piggy. I saw the fucking piggy. <gasps> the piggy! I'm gonna get you, piggy! Jeffy, I said stay in the corner!
corner. But dang, the piggy was right. There is no piggy, Jeffy. And now yes, there is, Dad. You're going to your room, Jeffy. That's it. You're going to your room. <laughs> Fuck you, Daddy. Uh. But Dad, I don't want to go to bed yet. You don't have to go to bed, Jeffy. You just have to stay in the crib all night because now you're grounded. Oh, you even know why the you know why you're grounded, Jeff. You know exactly what you did. No, the fuck I don't. You get back here and talk to me like a man, bitch. No, no, no. You're going to stay in that crib all night, Jeff. You're grounded. You know exactly what you did. Well, fuck you, Daddy. You're a horrible tooth fairy and an Easter buddy. Go collect teeth and put eggs in the yard or some shit, Daddy. Jeffy, shut up and just be quiet. No, Daddy. There's a fucking piggy and you know it. Shut up, Jeffy. Fuck you. All right, Gumbo. Are you ready for some cookies and milk? No, no, no. Yeah, grab a cookie, grab a cookie. You like cookies? Yes! What? Drawing Jeffy? Um, you want some cookies? Gumbo, you don't want him to have a cookie? No! But, but, Gumbo, you have to share! No! Gumbo, don't be like that! Um, uh, okay, uh, can you have your milk? No! Milk! Milk? Uh -uh. Uh, come on, Gumbo. He can have your milk. He, <laughs> he goes, uh, you can have the milk. I'll get you some more milk, okay? I'll, I'll, I'll be right back. I'll get you some milk. <laughs> what am I doing? Where did go? All right, Gumbo. We didn't have any milk. <laughs> Where did Gumbo go? Milk. What? Milk. You killed Gumbo by pouring milk on him? <laughs> How could you do that, Gumbo? Why'd you do that? <laughs> hey! Why did you, you do that? <laughs> Why you get back here, you killed my friend? <laughs> Why you get back here, you killed my friend, Gumbo? You killed Gumbo, I'm gonna kill you! Why? <laughs> I'm gonna find a way to kill him. I'm gonna find a way to kill him. <sighs> Do you think I was too harsh on Jeffy? Well, you did yell at him a lot, Mario. Yeah, I, I guess I did. I mean, I might unground him. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? Jeffy? <laughs> Mayonnaise. <laughs> what? Apparently not harsh enough. Uh, oh my gosh. Oh, Jeffy. <laughs> Jeffy, I said stay in your room. What the fuck are you talking about, Dad? I've been here the whole time. Jeffy, don't lie to me. What the fuck? Are you fucking high? Jeffy, you lost your phone now. You're double ground. For what? Because you left the room, Jeffy. No, the fuck I did, man. I'm here the whole goddamn time. Jeffy, don't act like you didn't walk past the room and say mayonnaise to me. Mayonnaise, bitch? Yeah, mayonnaise. I say fucking man. Are you fucking high? Jeffy, now you're double grounded and also no more TV. No, you're fucking delusional as fuck, daddy. Get the fuck back here. And whatever crack you're fucking smoking, I want some. Jerry, shut up, and you're gonna be in your room forever. Daddy, listen to the words coming out of my mouth. Fuck you! Jerry, stay in your room. Do not leave your room again. I'm gonna get to the bottom of this, and when I do, I'm gonna beat the shit out of you, Daddy. <sighs> I'm not in the mood for this stuff today. Mario, why is Jeffy acting so bad today? I don't know. He's acting worse than normal. It all started with that stupid pig. You're right, the pig. I don't know why he brought up the pig. There is no pig. <laughs> Is that a pig? Th that's a pig, Mario. <gasps> Jeffy was telling the truth. Th that's why he was getting so mad when I said there was no pig, but... What? Uh, I gotta go talk to him. I gotta go talk to him. So what do you assholes want? Well, um, we, uh... uh we wanted uh, to... We wanted to apologize. Oh, you wanted to apologize? I'm dying to know. For what? Um... Well, we, uh, we, we saw, saw the we, we, we saw, saw the, the pig. pig. Oh, you saw the piggy! Ding, 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 ding! Jeffy was right. Great. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you were right. Uh, so so uh, uh, we want to say we're, we're sorry. We're, we're sorry. We're sorry, Jeffy, for for grounding you. Well, horse shit! I need at least twenty bucks before I accept that bullshit apology. Um, can, can you go in my wallet and uh, see if yeah, I yeah, if, if I have, if I have twenty dollars? I'm sorry, Jeffy. I, I really uh, am. But all you had was a hundred dollar bill, Mario. <laughs> well, that'll work. Well, that's that's too, right. Um, uh, that's too. <laughs> it smells like I forgive you. Oh, uh, okay, okay, Jeffy, we're even. I'm sorry for drowning you. Oh, and one more thing, Daddy. What? Just a little something for the road and for your trouble. <clears throat> what? What? Uh, what? Take that and suck on it, Daddy. What? I mean, I, I was in the wrong. I did, I did ground him for no reason. Yeah. <laughs> Bob Sickles. <laughs> hey, Jeffy. 
I got something for you. What is it? It's a piece of paper. Paper? <laughs> Give me see. Oh, I'll let you see it. Because it's where you came from. <laughs> He's on the piece of paper. It actually worked. He's stuck in the paper. Now there's only one thing to do with this. Oh, yeah. You're never coming to life ever again. <sighs> Jeffy, I see it. We two. just hit two million fucking subscribers. Two Holy million. Shit. Two million. <laughs> two million. Are you kidding me, guys? Oh my god. Celebratory beat dick, guys. Guys, we just hit two million subscribers on May 14th, 2017. Uh, I'm sorry the whole crew's not here. Uh, we, we couldn't get everyone together, but it's me and Lance. Uh, we just hit 2 million subscribers. Uh, I, I wanted to do a cool video uh, showing you guys that we hit 2 million. I, thank you guys so much. I can't believe we just hit another million. It took me 9 years to hit a million. And then it only took 7 months to, to, to get another million. And we're at 2 million. Lance, what do you think of that? Great. <laughs> Great. Absolutely <laughs> phenomenal. I don't... Uh, his voice is gone. because yeah, if you last night's film. Yeah, the video you just watched, <clears throat> the screaming. But guys, I cannot believe that. Two million subscribers. I know the whole SML crew wants to thank you guys. Uh, I'll try to do a second video on my uh, Super Luigi Logan account thanking you guys. But thank you guys so much for two million subscribers. It's, it's, it's still going up. You guys are amazing. I never thought this channel was going to get this big. And... T two million subscribers guys you guys are amazing i love all you guys i'm sorry this video wasn't as big as the first million but still two million oh my god guys you guys are amazing absolutely uh 100 agree yeah uh, you guys are amazing i love you so much i i don't know what to say right now two million um the super mario logan movie is coming out real soon a big surprise for you guys i'm gonna give you all a sneak peek a little bit uh next week um but guys two Two million subscribers, it's unbelievable. Thank you guys so much. Thank you guys so much. Let's um, go for 10 million. We, ten, we gotta get 10 million, 10 million. We by, need tomorrow. To 10 million. <laughs> by tomorrow. By tomorrow. By <laughs> tomorrow. Um, but guys, thank you so much. Uh, you guys are really the most amazing fans. I appreciate every single one of you guys who keep watching every week, no matter what, no matter what type of stupid things we do, you guys keep watching. And I love you guys so much. I know I've said this a million times, but... <laughs> Yes. So, <laughs> see you guys later. I'll see you guys in the next video. I'll try to do a bigger video on my second account. But thank you guys so much for 2 million subscribers. I, I, I still can't believe it. We just watched it live with you guys. Um, but you guys are amazing. I love every single one of you.